The proud graduates adorned in their robes are assembling to take a ceremonial march to the arena. As a vanguard will be, they are equally proud heads of departments accompanied by the booming ceremonial Holy Cross Band from Elia Pado. The graduates will be followed by the dignitaries led by the heads of the institutions of BIT, BEATS and BIT Polytechnic. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all rise and cheer as they reach the base of the gallery and commence their final march to the pendal.
not only dream but also act not only plan but also believe honorable chairman distinguished guests respected principals of baris institute of technology baris enviro architecture design school baris institute of emerging sciences director of bit polytechnic diligent and lovely faculty members my dear and graduates and dear parents i once again wish you all a very pleasant and a wonderful morning i am afia assistant professor beats i am joyson assistant professor of english at bit take it as a privilege to host the 10th graduation day of bit and the third graduation day of paris enviro architecture design school a day where our students can raise their heads high for they have overcome all the challenges life threw at them during their undergraduate life it has not been easy but they have this milestone making all of us proud graduation day is always a day of celebration and rejoicing for it marks the conclusion of an educational journey and the commencement of another more uncertain and more challenging part of an individual's quest for a better life and future truly today signifies the culmination of many years of hard work in the relentless pursuit of knowledge knowledge that will enable a person to embrace opportunities and take on challenges with clear vision and purpose it's a proud day for bit as it has been 13 years since founding our 10th batch is graduating this year for beats it has been 7 years since founding our third batch is graduating this year for bit polytechnic as it has been 9 years since founding our 6th batch is graduating this year this is a great day with a broad smile on our face and a tear in the eye it is really indeed an honor to be a part of this dignified and special event on behalf of entire bit beats and bit polytechnic family i welcome this auspicious gathering glory to god for all the wonderful things he has done for us i praise god for the blessings he has bestowed upon baris academy of learning as always baris academy of learning has followed a culture of invoking almighty's blessings before every start so i now request our invocation team to invoke the almighty's blessings kindly raise for the prayer
have made striding progress in transforming our institutions into world-class centers of learning. The legacy which was started by the great grandfather of our beloved chairman, Mr. Sayyid Muhammad Bedi, has reached leaps and bounds, uh, leaps and bounds, which has committed itself to impart quality education, embracing values of purity of heart, clarity of mind in every student. Now, let us have a glance on a documentary video of BIT and Beats. Where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls. Where words come out from the depth of truth. Where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection. Where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit. Where the mind is led forward by thee into ever widening thought and action. Into that haven of freedom, my father, let my country awake. Uh, greetings from the Bellis Group. Bellis education is an integral part of Bellis Group since inception. We as a family, we come from an education background where my late, late grandfather was a teacher. We at BIT and BEATS uh, uh, are looking at creating a world class technology campus. Bellis Institute of Technology and Bellis Envro Architecture Design School are the flagship institution of Bellis Group. Bellis Institute of Technology, BIT is approved by All India Council for Technical Education, New Delhi and affiliated to Vishweshwaraya Technological University, Belagavi and also recognized by Government of Karnataka. We offer undergraduate, postgraduate, research program and diploma programs in engineering. In undergraduation, we offer four years Bachelor of Engineering BE program in Computer Science and Engineering, Electronics and Communication Engineering, Civil Engineering and Mechanical Engineering. In post-graduation, we have two years Master of Technology MPEC in Computer Science and Engineering and Mechanical Machine Design. We have PhD research program in the areas of Mechanical Engineering, Mathematics, and physics at our institute. In today's uh, world, technology is the key. And uh, being from the computer science and engineering department, we primarily concentrate on building technologies, learning technologies, and understanding it. The infrastructural development of this country is going to be phenomenal in the next five to 10 years. There will be a number of opportunities created for our students in the construction of bridges, roads, highways and also the focus will be on the urban infrastructure. The civil engineering department of BIT has got well qualified faculty and we constantly train our students to upskill themselves. The department of basic science uh, has the mission to feed the students with the final as aspect of science. The department is one of the best uh, department in this region. Uh, both in terms of the placement and uh, the results. We provide additional add-on courses on new generation technologies like artificial intelligence, cyber security, data analytics and so on. We focus mainly to give a wide exposure to the students in various fields of engineering to meet the global standards and industry challenges. Institution has well-equipped laboratories, classrooms, well-stocked modern library, canteen, auditoriums, seminar halls, playground, and a gymnasium. At BIT Polytechnic, we have two courses, Mechanical Engineering Diploma and Civil Engineering Diploma. We know the pulse of industry, and we train our students for the needs of the industry.
includes the 22 plus institutions under the fold of Barry's education. Beats has been conceived with the philosophy of respect to the environment and ecology. We are on top of the plateau with its uh, sort of vast expanse of openness. So because it's architecture, every student needs a much more spacious environment. I personally love the campus very much. You can see there's lots of floor and fauna around. Uh, because I've never seen such beautiful campus around, like it's on top of the hill and uh, such peaceful campus. But uh, this is the first uh, green compliant campus in South India. That foggy climate and cool breeze and then more than 100 of species of birds chirping, it, it kind of gives you that boost for the day. Where it is a place where students make their sweet memories. We provide them a platform, BAT Utsav, which is a cultural event celebrated every year to showcase their talents. So it is kind of like a beautiful place to study. They teach us like basically everything, including the curriculum, outside the curriculum, everything. Explain you, they comfort you when you when you need the comfortness, uh, they comfort you, they do everything. Companies like Toyota, Fiditech and Jaffe coming here. And major construction companies around, in and around Bangalore and Bangalore are coming visiting our campus. The institute has signed memorandum of understanding MOU with many industries like Construction Management Training Institute, AI Robosoft. Technologics Global, Noviga Solutions Private Limited, Mandovi Motors, and so on. The BIT is an institution which provides outstanding opportunity for higher learning. We have very good infrastructure facility, faculties, and laboratory, library, everything. Uh, this scheme wherein they provide 100% uh, scholarships for meritorious students. Our concept of uh, future education is based on truth, trust and societal happiness. If you are a knowledge seeker, we seek you. We shall ensure that you are future ready by the end of the memorable journey of BIT and BEATS. Thank you. Where the mind is without fear and head is held high. Where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up into fragments. By narrow domestic walls. Where the words come out from the depth of truth. Where the tireless striving stretches its arm towards perfection. Where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit. Where the mind is led forward by deep into ever widening thoughts and actions. Into that heaven of freedom, my father. Let my country away. Paris Academy of Learning has produced thousands of successful people to the society through its mission to nurture leaders, inventors and innovators in every field of excellence who can significantly contribute to a progressive, peaceful and a greener world. Our graduating students are successfully employed at different MNCs in India and abroad. Fueled by the spirit of entrepreneurship and leadership kindled at our institution. I invite you to explore the many achievements of our alumni through a documentary video. Hello friends, greetings from BIT and BEATS. Ultimate test to any institute is in the testimony given by its alumni. We at BIT and BEATS take great pride in our students. I pray to God Almighty to bless them immensely wherever they are and whatever they do. So 
education plus nature. So that was the which thing I saw in the first day of Paris, uh, like BID. That foggy climate and cool breeze and then more than 100 of species of birds chirping, it, it kind of gives you that boost for the day. The uniqueness of this college is an uh, excellent uh, viewpoint around the campus atmosphere. The eco-friendly building uh, gave us natural light and air. The lush green campus with the Netra Avati river flowing by. Away from the city, no pollution, so it is kind of like a beautiful place to study. Uh, when it comes to nature, there isn't a better place where you find uh, in the world. The natural touch that this college has, that's what inspired me most to join this institution. Myself being a civil student at Berry's group, I was always fascinated by the architecture and structural details of our ambient campus and not to forget its heartily capturing green landscape which provides grateful environment. Being in BAD was one of the best things that happened in my life. I did enjoy the college because of the environment, I mean the green environment and because it was far away from every kind of destruction that a student could can have. I was just a normal student, like 35 marks holder. I'm a distinction holder all the six semester after joining to BIT. It is worth joining here because every teacher is concentrating on individual student. Uh, coming to the facilities, seminar hall, and the most important thing was about the supersonic lab. Uh, and it was not available in uh, anywhere in the Mangalore. So we had a good exposure on the aerodynamics and the stuff. And I'm really lucky that I studied in such a college. Uh, it provides 100% scholarships for meritorious students for all four years. College life, the only word I can say is great, awesome. We had a lot of fun learning engineering as well as learning about life lessons. And we had uh, friendly and uh, supportive faculties. There are no words for my faculties. Because of them, I am here right now doing PhD. After I joined here, I just fell in love with the computers. That is because the passion of our uh, teachers. Highly experienced and qualified faculty are the greatest asset of the BIT and BITS. Technical sessions which were organized by our chairman and the management so that we could also understand the practical side of our career. Our chairman delivered a speech on that day where he talked about uh, coins two faces. He said if one face of the coin is success what is the other face of it? And then he said sacrifice. I read about his stories and all and it really inspired me. As my HOD's principal and my all staffs were good and even we are touch with them. So that much friendly also they are. We should always have a clarity in our mind, like whatever we do, what we want to do, how we do it. So this is what like one thing. And purity of heart is like if you are not pure from your heart, then you will not be able to do anything. More than 100 times our Barry sir has explained, in every talk he will, sell, uh, he will tell this. He will mention the same word. Whenever uh, I get uh, struck, I used to remember uh, these lines, these motto. Like in most of the places, it's like we just know our friend circle or like to, uh, to the max only the classmates. But here entire college knew each other. Irrespective of the religious or cultural differences and all, we were like brothers. This college uh, has uh, took me to the next level as well as career growth. Uh, so still I have uh, contacts with our seniors and uh, when I started uh, my company, it was helpful to get their experience in field. They are working already and still juniors are in touch. Like. Uh, we gave uh, internship for four students this year. I learned to be unique and disciplined. In terms of the infrastructure, no other college can beat VIT because of its unique style and facilities. At BIT, we uh, celebrate various uh, cultural events. Here, uh, there are a lot of extracurricular activities which has been done. We used to have a uh, interaction with these students from all the other states. It helped us to learn a lot of languages. BIT is always uh, welcoming all sort of multicultural students to the campus. Uh, I would say we had one of the best four years of uh, life spending in BIT campus. Uh, I would always uh, uh, encourage and recommend people to come and join BIT. Guy who want to really want to build his own career, so BIT campus is the best campus. BIT 
uh, gives you the freedom to become a leader. Coming out from BET, uh, it changed myself and the way I see things. Uh, I, I used to have a lack of concentration in things that I used to do, but as I graduated, I started seeing things in a different ways. Whatever used to be a challenge for me, I used to enjoy. That's why I am what I am right now, and I'm I'm so grateful for the institution because they shaped me into a better man. Uh, consistent quality in the classroom will help the student to excel and bolster their skills. Graduation day. So we all cried like anything, which you know unknowingly it came off. So later we realized how what was the bond in between you know faculty and the student. Leaving the campus was most difficult for me because I had to leave my friends back. I had to leave my faculties, which I I was going to encounter a new world with a lot of difficulties. That was the most emotional day of my life. So we used to feel like a home, not as a college. Then the day of leaving, I personally really felt like crying. Uh, usually when the exam gets over, we all just run to hostel or home. But that day, everybody stayed in college. So that was the most emotional moment. Never ending photo sessions and uh, fear of never getting the same people again in our life. It is the wonderful place to start your career and you will be future ready. This life, what I'm leading now, which is not uh, even in my dream, so BIT changed it. The next is Barry Sir is my inspiration. BIT has shaped me a lot in my when it comes to my career path. I convey, convey the greetings from BTN, which stands for BIT Alumni International Dubai. I wish all the best to all the students. May you have a great learning in BEATS and have a bright future. And I was recruited from this college itself. So basically this college gave me the employment also. Right now, I am with my country and I work in the State Department as Electronic and Telecommunication Engineer. I am currently working at Codecraft Technologies. Now I own my own company, construction company. I am working as a software developer for NTT Data. I am in Canada, Ontario right now. And currently I am working as a district account manager in Johnson & Johnson medical device segment. I do work in uh, Molex India Private Limited. Actually I started my own uh, construction firm. I got placed in SLK Software. I am working as a design verification engineer at Saima. So currently I work as a space planner uh, in Barry Cinema Marketing Private Limited. And I'm currently residing in Adelaide, Australia. Uh, I was born in Kerala, Kasargod and brought up in Mangalore. Uh, now I'm pursuing my Master's in Construction Management from the University of Adelaide. Currently I'm working as an assistant professor in a various Institute of Technology. I just flew abroad, that is to the UAE, United Arab Emirates. I'm currently working in Singapore as a project engineer and presently I'm working in Biocon. Uh, currently I'm working for Target Corporation, Bangalore. Presently working as a site engineer here at Navi Mumbai with Beris Group. Currently I have a startup in uh, AI and healthcare. I work as an associate QA engineer at Informatica Bangalore. I'm doing right now as a senior software engineering in a risk connect. I'm a project manager for a healthcare engineering. So currently I'm working as a technical support engineer in IBM. Presently I'm a research scholar at National Institute of Technology, Karnataka, Suratkal. I would surely recommend uh, students to come to BIP and experience the whole new four years of beautiful journey in their life. Please visit us to experience what you just witnessed. Be a proud student of BIT and BEATS. I wish you all the very best. I now request our reception team to welcome and escort our esteemed guests onto the stage to preside over and grace this ceremony. Guests on the stage today we have Mr. Venkata Ramanan Venu Gopal as chief guest, Dr. G. C. Mohan, guest of honor, architect Manoj Ladhad, guest of honor, Mr. Syed Muhammad Berry, honorable chairman, Berry's Academy of Learning. 
डॉक्टर एस आई मंजूर बाशा प्रिंसिपाल बी आई टी आर्किटेक्ट अशोक एल पी मेंडोनसा प्रिंसिपाल बीट्स डॉक्टर अजीज मुस्तफ़ा डायरेक्टर प्रिंसिपाल बैरिस इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इमर्जिंग साइंसेस प्रोफेसर पृथ्वीराज डायरेक्टर बी आई टी पॉलीटेक्निक आर्किटेक्ट रुखसाना अलगूर एच ओ डी बीट्स डॉक्टर वसंत कुमार एच ओ डी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डॉक्टर अब्दुल्ला गुब्बी एच ओ डी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ई एन सी इंजीनियरिंग डॉक्टर नलिनी ई रेबेलो एच ओ डी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डॉक्टर अंजुम खान एच ओ डी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बेसिक साइंस प्रोफेसर सिनान एच ओ डी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सी एस इंजीनियरिंग प्रोफेसर माला श्री एच ओ डी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिप्लोमा प्रोफेसर अनस एच ओ डी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिप्लोमा काइंडली वेलकम दम विद अ बिग राउंड ऑफ अपलॉज प्लीज to welcome is to show honor to welcome is to establish integrity may i now request our beloved principal of bit dr s i manjur basha to welcome the gathering i will begin in the name of almighty good morning each and every one of you respected guests and dignitaries on the dais mr venkatramanan venugopal head and director of engineering schneider electric bangalore dr gc mohan kumar director nitk suratkal architect manoj ladhad co-founder architecture paradigm bangalore dr kishor kumar district health officer dakshina kannada bangalore Mr Syed Muhammad Bari Chairman of Bari's Academy of Learning Architect Ashok Mendonza Principal Beads Dr Aziz Mustafa Principal Bari's Institute of Emerging Sciences Professor Prithviraj Director BIT Polytechnic Heads of all departments faculty members of BIT Beads and BIT Polytechnic parents and my dear graduates press and media staff all guests and invitees i am honored to be the part of this splendid 10th graduation day of berries institute of technology third that of beads and sixth diploma graduation day of bit polytechnic good morning again to each and every one of you present here every year our institution is privileged to have many such great compassionate people to honor our graduation day to influence and enlighten our graduates who have been a successful alumni always i wholeheartedly welcome all on behalf of berry institute of technology beads and bit polytechnic all our guests and dignitaries are eminent personalities in their own profession and field in spite of their busy schedule they have been here today to grace the occasion a warm and hearty welcome to one and all on and off the dais i cordially welcome mr venkatramanan venugopal head and director of engineering schneider electric bangalore it's my pleasure to extend a warm welcome to you sir i am honored to have amongst us dr gc mohan kumar director nitk suratkal sir we are deeply honored to welcome you on this great occasion i acknowledge a hearty welcome to architect manoj ladhad co-founder and principal architect architecture paradigm bangalore a pleasing welcome to you sir we have amongst us dr kishor kumar 
ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಕನ್ನಡ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಮೈ ಪ್ಲಷರ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಅ ಚೇರ್ಫುಲ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಯು ಸರ್ ಐ ಫೀಲ್ ಇಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಷರ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅವರ್ ಬಿಲೌಡ್ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಟುಡೆ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡಿಲೈಟೆಡ್ ಟು ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಸೈಯದ್ ಮೊಹಮ್ಮದ್ ಬೇರಿ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೇರೀಸ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬೇರೀಸ್ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿ ಆಫ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಯ ಹಾರ್ಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲಸೆಂಟ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಯು ಸರ್ ಯ ವಾಮ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಮೈ ಕಲೀಗ್ ಆರ್ಕಿಟೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಶೋಕ್ ಮೆಂಡೋನ್ಸಾ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೇರೀಸ್ ಎನ್ವಿರೋ ಆರ್ಕಿಟೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಡಿಸೈನ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಯ ಪ್ಲೀಸಿಂಗ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಯು also i welcome dr aziz mustafa principal berries institute of emerging sciences a warm welcome to you i acknowledge a hearty welcome to professor prithviraj director bit polytechnic a pleasing welcome to you professor prithviraj i am extremely happy to welcome heads of various departments one by one ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಅಬ್ದುಲ್ಲಾ ಗುಬ್ಬಿ ಹೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಷನ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಸಂತ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಓ ಡಿ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕಲ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಮೊಹಮ್ಮದ್ ಸಿನಾನ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಓ ಡಿ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ನಲಿನಿ ರಿಬೆಲ್ಲೋ ಹೆಡ್ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಅಂಜುಮ್ ಖಾನ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಓ ಡಿ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ಕಿಟೆಕ್ ರುಕ್ಷಣ ಅಲ್ಗೂರ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಓ ಡಿ ಬೀಡ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಮೊಹಮ್ಮದ್ ಅನಸ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕಲ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿ ಐ ಟಿ ಪಾಲಿಟೆಕ್ನಿಕ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಮಾಲಾಶ್ರೀ ಹೆಚ್ ಓ ಡಿ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿ ಐ ಟಿ ಪಾಲಿಟೆಕ್ನಿಕ್ it's my pleasure to extend a warm welcome to our special invitees mr musaba beri president of meef welcome you sir i welcome mr musaba beri president of meef i would like to welcome dr iftikar senate member of rajiv gandhi university of health sciences also i'd like to welcome our special invitee mr abdul aziz darimi welcome you sir i'm extremely happy to welcome all the faculty members and staff of bit beads and bit polytechnic on this occasion it's my pleasure to extend a warm welcome to mr abul beri and mr salam from our bangalore head office i am much delighted to welcome all the graduates the engineers the architects and the diploma awardees those who are graduating today and also their proud parents and relatives who have come here to grace the occasion from far places and other states it's my pleasure to extend a warm welcome to all the press and media friends too on this graduation day our proud alumni members have accepted our invitation to come online and offline to motivate our passing out graduates we have amidst us our delighted alumni available through offline our mr miss rizma banu b information science and engineering 2017 batch co-founder atom 360 bangalore <laughs> mr sanjit s anchan b civil engineering 2013 batch currently pursuing his phd at nitk suratkal mr ajay b mechanical 2016 batch business analyst at genpact bangalore also we have our delighted alumni available through online those who are going to come uh, shortly via online are mr akshay navin b computer science engineering 2013 batch senior developer at novadras llp bangalore mr mohammad fai is b mechanical 2015 batch r&d engineer cook medical australia private limited australia mr vikrant diploma civil 2018 batch 
pursuing masters in urban planning newcastle university uk i welcome all our proud alumni those who are available physically today and through online well our graduates present here would be more enthusiastic about today's event a long journey which has taken lot of patience dedication determination discipline and hard work it is very proud moment for the graduates parents and teachers who have all played their part in the end result your teachers have done their greatest to help you by encouraging and motivating you to perform at optimum and achieve the final result your parents have ma made many sacrifices in the last few years especially during the initial pandemic years and provided you with the enabling environment at home financial and moral support to help you through this phase dear graduates you are highly prized and you are here with your beloved parents and family members to celebrate your accomplishments the institution has prepared you not just in the academic front but to play your part in helping communities and improve their quality of life you will have amazing networking opportunities in your next phase you will meet new people with different cultures values attitudes and knowledge my best wishes to you and all my dear student friends you are future ready now keep keep growing keep adding to the goodness and beauty in the world keep developing those unique dreams and talents that make who you are whatever you do never stop learning exploring growing and challenging yourself to be your best i hope you will oblige my message to realize your wish and goal before concluding i once again welcome all of you who are present here today to make this day a memorable one welcome each and every one of you thank you thank you sir let's extend a hearty welcome to our principal sir for this program we are honored to have with us mr venkataramanan venu gopal as chief guest of today's program i now request mr joyson to introduce our chief guest to the audience i'm privileged to honor our chief guest mr venkataramanan venu gopal he is a versatile engineering leader with a passion for technology and has over two decades in developing enterprise great software products mr venkat ramanan has led large engineering r&d works on cutting edge products he has managed mature r&d organizations with over 100 million dollars in product revenues he has deep experience in virtualization cloud and saas based offerings at large scale he has worked internationally at multiple engineering sites in europe and north america He is also passionate about mentoring and developing people and nurturing talent across the organization. Mr. Venkat Ramanan is a firm believer in technology for social impact and works to use technology as an enabler to solve real world problems. A warm welcome to you sir. Good morning everyone. Uh, honorable chairman, distinguished guests, faculty principals staff and finally my dear students it's a privilege for me to be here today on the eve of your graduation it takes me back 25 plus years when i was sitting there like you right and this is this is a very very emotional day as some of you said right today is a day you go into a real world until now you are nurtured you are made to learn you had your friends you had everyone together with you and today you change today you go into a different world and it's an exciting world and if you're like me you get to come back to this now and then to be in college to be with students right so i graduated 28 years ago when i graduated the world was very very different we didn't have internet we didn't have this we didn't have amazon okay our world was totally different 
Right? I had to go you know, uh, in a bus every day to drop my CVs off in different companies to see if I could get a job. Right? You have two choices. Either you go to work or you go and study. Right? Now obviously, you know, in my case, uh, we couldn't afford to study more, so I said, okay, I have to work. So that is how we started. And also the kind of work which we had to do in those days. You know, I graduated in computer science. It was very, very limited. We had a few companies which could do that. And you know, it was not really the kind of work which a lot of us wanted to do. Today, if you see, when you graduate out and come over, you have a plethora of choices. You have, if you want to do on the fourth generation aircraft, if you want to build uh, you know, fighter aircraft, today we have Tejas, which is being built in our country. You want to build rockets, Today you have startups building rockets. Right? You want to do fintech, you have fantastic financial companies which is doing fintech. Right? Finally, you don't want to do all that, you want to be an entrepreneur, you have a good idea, you have something which you can do, you have a lot of people who are willing to fund you. In our days, we couldn't take all those things. You had to go to a bank and ask for a loan and mostly you will not get it. Right? Today, they didn't understand the kind of world which today is happening here. Okay. I'll tell you an interesting incident. Right? Uh, after all these years, uh, I said I'm going to buy a nice car. Right? Now I can afford it and uh, I know my son is in college, I have a house, all that. So I said this time I'm going to buy a nice car. So I go to go and take delivery of the car and there was a very young lady, 25 year old, um, you know, over there and she was also taking delivery of a similar car. Then I started talking to her and she said she has her own company and she builds her own business. And in two years profit, she bought the car. I took 28 years. That is your generation, right? So that is what is the world you're going into, right? So it is an exciting world full of opportunities, full of things. It is in you to take these opportunities to do things. We are also in a phase in our country where things are transforming. You're seeing so many new things happening in our countries. You all know other. My son wanted to open a bank account. Normally, what do we do? We go to the bank and fill a form and all those things. So I called the bank and they said, no, 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 you don't need to come, just go online. It took me three minutes to complete my EKYC with the other and you had a bank account opened immediately. So that is the power of technology today. Right? And what about, you know, we all use Google Pay, we all use uh, you know, phone pay, all these things. They're transforming the world. You know, you have you know, a flower seller who comes and sells flower now, so pay with Google Pay. And what is that doing? It is bringing a lot of people, people who are otherwise underprivileged, people who are otherwise marginalized by society into the mainstream. And that is creating a lot of opportunities for people like us to use technology to make a difference in people's lives. I have a person uh, in my you know, apartment complex, uh, you know, who uh, irons clothes. The other day, he came and told me, uh, no, you know, we make uh, puppet at home. He said, uh, can you help me create a web front where I can actually sell this puppet? That is what is happening. It is reaching people, people at different ends of the spectrum, right, who can transform. That is how you build a nation. That is how you make everybody grow. That is make you make everybody prosperous. And that is the kind of world you're going into. Such an exciting and amazing world you're going into. Of course, when you go into a world like this, you'll also have challenges, right? Nothing comes without challenges in life, right? So one of the biggest challenge your generation is going to face is on climate change. Right? This is something which my generation has just started to see how we can address that. I was talking uh, with uh, Mr. Manoj uh, on the way from the airport over here and talking about sustainability and how we do things. It is important as engineers and architects, when you're coming out of this institution and starting to work and building things, please bear in mind the impact of whatever actions, whatever you build on the world, on the environment, and how do you make it sustainable. According to the Paris Accord, India has to be net zero carbon emissions by 2070. Right? My own company which I work for, which plays a very leading role in sustainability, 2030 is our net zero emission. What is net zero? Whatever carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases which you produce, you make sure that you, know, you, you compensate that equally. Right? And uh, none other than uh, Mr. Beery is a pioneer in that. The building in which my office is actually there, which is actually BGRT, 
And that building is actually net zero. It's the LEED Platinum Certified Building. Mm -hmm. That means, you know, uh, it is a, it, it's, it's a net zero building. And we also have around 90% of renewable energy, sir, in that building what we use. So your own Mr. Beery is a pioneer in sustainability. And one of the messages which I want to give you today is, this is a world for all of us, for our generation, your generation, your next generation. It is important that you think of a sustainable world in everything you do, whether it's uh, you know, renewable energy, whether it is mobility, whether it is reducing greenhouse gases, please keep in mind, this is a challenge which for all of us, we have to sit down together and address, and your generation is going to be in the forefront of this. There's another thing which you know, I ask myself when I come and talk to you today, you know, with 25, 25 plus years of uh, working in the industry and this gray hair and no hair, what is this little with humility I can share with you which will help you, right? So I thought of six different things which has helped me along the way, and in all humility, I would like to share it with you. First one is learning. If you thought when you graduate out from here today, your learning stops, you're very, very wrong. Learning is all through your life. Right? It doesn't have to be only a textbook. It doesn't have to be only you know, what you're studying with your subject. Be curious. Look at things around you. Ask questions. Right? Continuously try to improve on things. Try to look at different things. Try new things. This is the age you can try new things. Don't, don't allow yourself to be confined by things which say that, okay, this is what you are. You are a mechanical engineer and that's what you are. No. The world is open to you. You have so many resources. You have YouTube, you have Coursera, you have Udemy, everything, right? Make use of them. Even this day, my Fridays, every Friday, two hours in the morning, my calendar is blocked just for my private time to learn. 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. is where I block my calendar for me to learn and improve on something. It doesn't have to be my subject. It can be something very random. Last week, course, I learned baking to try and see how I can bake something, right? And that is what you need to constantly keep looking at. The second one I'm going to talk to you about is courage, right? Courage and risk taking, right? Whatever you get into, whatever you want to do, do not hesitate, do not hold back. Go and do what you have to do. Right? And always stand up for things, stand up for right things, stand up for things which is makes, going to make a difference. And be, 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 be open and be, you know, take risks. It's okay. This is the age you can take risks. You know, after some time, you will have a family, you will have, you know, house loans, you will have children's education. You cannot take risks, then it will be difficult. You can take it, it will be still difficult. But this is the age you can take risks. So be courageous, do things. And again, I think uh, uh, hearing Mr. Beery with his uh, you know, story this morning at breakfast, uh, I can't imagine you have a better uh, person than Mr. Beery to talk to you about courage and risk taking. Third one I want to tell you about is failure. Right? You will have failure in life. Right? If you're not already faced it, you will have it. Right? It is a given. Right? Every time you will not have success. So it is important for you to not feel let down by failure, learn from failure, and always get up. Dust yourself, tomorrow is another day. It's a new day. The sun will rise again, right? Things will change. However bad they are, however difficult they are, always don't lose hope and faith. Tomorrow will always be a new day, and there will always be new things which will happen to you tomorrow. Right? And the next one, which is change. I told you the world which I graduated in is very different from the world which you're going to graduate in. This change will constantly happen. You cannot avoid this change. So be open, embrace this change, and in change is where you get opportunities. Only when change happens, you find new opportunities opening up, new things for you to do, things will make you successful. That is, again, another important thing. Lastly, you know, uh, I want to talk to you about money. You know, all this we spoke about. Money is also very, very important for all of us. Right? So I'll tell you a little story which happened to me with money. Right? So when I graduated, uh, 10,000 rupees a month was a salary everybody wanted. That was like you know, the benchmark. You, know, you had to get 10,000 rupees salary. So my job with, uh, at that time, uh, Wipro, uh, you know, I was waiting for the offer letter and uh, I got it. And I thought, yes, I will get, I asked in the interview, I need 10,000 rupees. And uh, I got 9,930 rupees as my first salary. I was devastated. It's just 70 rupees. Why can't they give me 70 rupees? 
I was so upset that I couldn't get this 10,000 rupees a month salary. That day, I made a decision that I will never go after money. I will go after what is true for me to do. Right? I will learn, I will do my best, I will work to do the best things for the organization I work for. And after that, money will come. You don't have to go chasing behind money. Do what you have to do, do focus on your work, focus on making a difference, making the organization you work for or your company, whatever else you do, profitable and good, money will come to you, promotions will come to you, success will come to you. All that will automatically happen to you. This are the six things I thought it was important uh, for me to share. And I asked Mr. Berry, uh, sir, what do you want me to uh, talk about? He said, Venkat, whatever it is, talk from your heart. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to wish every one of you a wonderful future. Your parents have struggled hard to get you where you are. And I wish you very, very well. And I hope every one of you with the Almighty's blessings goes on to make a wonderful and brilliant career. Thank you so much. That was so insightful addressing. Thank you, sir. We have with us Dr. Kishore Kumar as guest of honor of today's program. I now request Professor Sharifa to introduce our guest. A very good morning, one and all. I feel extremely privileged to have this opportunity to introduce the guest of honor, Dr. Kishore Kumaryam. Dr. Kishore Kumaryam graduated from KMC Mangalore in 1994 joined the government service in 1995 as a medical officer in primary health care center in Benjana Padua, Bantawala Taluk. He worked as a medical officer in district police health center from 2001 to 2008. He also worked as a district AIDS control officer and district tuberculosis officer from 2008 to 2015. He was a chief medical officer at Government Tuberculosis and Chest Disease Hospital, Mudeshide, during 2015 to 2021. Currently, a sir is the district health officer of Dakshina Kannada and holds this position from April 2021. We are heartily honored with your presence today, sir. Thank you. Beris Group has an exemplary achievement in the field of education since 116 years. All these years, Barry's group has extensively expanded their network to cater to people of different backgrounds and fields. There are more than 25 institutions under this network. Today, we are proud to announce that we have yet another feather in the cap, that is, Barry's Institute of Health Sciences. As a symbolical representation, we are now going to launch the official logo of Barry's Institute of Health Sciences. I now request Dr. Kishore Kumar along with the other dignitaries to launch the logo and thereafter address the gathering. I request Dr. Iftikar also to join in the launching of the logo. As a family member of uh, Barrett's Institute, in a proud conscience of Ullal, which was in a legacy of my father from 1972, when my late father, U.T. Farid, was a founder member of getting the Mangan University to the conscience of Ullal in Konaji, present MLA U.T. Kadir, who was a health minister, 
in 2013, then we had requested Sayed Barry sir to start Insta of Health Science of Barry's. It's called Barry's Insta of Health Sciences. Ten years back, I was just seeing when the principal of uh, the Barry's of Technology was reading the graduation. Uh, I mean, the speech of welcome speech. I was just thinking it would have been the fifth batch graduating from Barry's Insta of Health Sciences. Then, if Barry sir. and uh, when i was a syndicate member i requested to do the college is starting but now anyways now we are proud that uh, dho the number one uh, citizen of uh, healthcare in mangalore from the district kishore sir has launched the lo uh, logo and baris sir already we have come through the baris college institute of pharmacy the inspection is done 2023 you are going to start with the pharmacy institute followed by nursing followed by physiotherapy Allied Sciences, Inshallah, by 2030, and Kodi in Kundapur, which is under the new era of called Rajiv Gandhi New Sahel Sciences, which is under the leadership of our Vice Chancellor M K Ramesh. I wish the Barrage Institute from B I to to bids to come into B I H S now. So a new logo should be added as B I H S now. It's a proud moment for our constituency too to start the institutions. Your pillar of advice in pharmacy, Dr. Sami Ullah Khan, who is a brother of our Chief Secretary of Karnataka, Atik Sab. Who is also a principal of pharmacy in uh, PA College? <laughs> so, you are good advising team, sir. So we want some good institutions come up here and a good hospital to come up in this area. And future, in, inshallah, by 2030, you turn into a medical college. Thank you, Doctor Iftikhar, for ex expressing your views about Barry's Academy of Learning. I now request Doctor Kishore Kumar to address the gathering. Good morning, everyone. respected dignitaries over the dais of the dais and my dear friends i am very much pleased to launch the logo of barry institute of health science today so first of all i would like to congr congratulate the management for that sir and uh, i wish all the best for your all future endeavors in uh, bhis a much awaited day a day of dream coming true and a day of day which is going to be memorable in your life because it may be a end of your academic life but actually it's the beautiful beginning of your professional life and society has got lot of expectations on you because you are going to serve this country in one or the other means so the uh, responsibility the first thing you should be responsible in all your actions as well as work and if you are going to be responsible in your uh, professional and uh, as well as personal life then definitely you are going to get all the respect that's the second r and the reward the reward the almighty going to give is actually priceless that is not only in terms of money or asset it is uh, in terms of uh, peace of mind so i wish all the best for all the graduates here today so uh, i pray the almighty to give all the strength and confidence to you so that you can achieve all the success in your life thank you one and all memoir is about handing over your life to someone and saying this is what i went through this is who i am and maybe you can learn something from it let us now move on to the releasing of the memoir book for the year 2022 i request all the dignitaries on the days to grace this moment
it's now time to felicitate our dear students i now request professor ruksana algur hod beats to read out the student names of architecture i request mr venkata ramanan venu gopal to give away the memoir and memento i request the students to form a line as per their order good morning all today we are witnessing third graduation day for beats really it's a proud moment for us now i call upon our student to take their honors amal faisal humais rafi mb shazia mohammad shawaf nidhi shri आर्षी हबीबा सदासना मोहम्मद अंसफ बाला मुरली कृष्णा गीत चंद लास्ट नॉट द लीस्ट मोहम्मद सुनेब इस्माइल थैंक यू i wish all of them best of luck for their future life the students are requested to form a line immediately as your names are called and the coordinators will send you from the left side kindly follow the decorum yes i request dr nalini iribello hod of the department of civil engineering to read out the student names of the civil department I request Dr. G C Mohan to give away the memoir and memento. As I read out the names of civil engineering graduates, I request you to come and receive your certificates. Miss Anju Joseph, Mr. B S Musa, Mr. Ishwar, Mr. Fazil Abdullah. Mr Hamsa Masood Mr Irfan Habib Mr K A Jafrida Mr Mohammad Afnan Mr Mohammad Bishir Mr Mohammad Habib Mr Mohammad Iftisham Mr Mohammad Rizwan Mr Mohammad Saeed Mr Mohammad Safir Mr Mohammad Salman Musa Mr Mohammad Sharif Mr Mohammad Ismail Mr Mohammad Yasin Bolyar Mr Mohammad Sheikh Miss Nafisa Amreen Namiz Mr P K Ubaidullah Miss Shabana Mr Sheikh Mohammad Nawid Mr Sufyan Ahmed Mr Syed Junaid Mr Wise Mr Mohammad Arfid Mr Aman Rashid 
मिस्टर मोहम्मद आफ्ताब मिस्टर शेख आदिल इमरान मिस्टर मोहम्मद अजमल मिस्टर अब्दुल वाहिद मिस्टर अहमद शकी का रिक्वेस्ट इज ब्रदर अहमद शाहिद टू रिसीव द अवार्ड Mr Ahmed Shaki I request his brother to receive this certificate Congratulations graduates Thank you ma'am I request Professor Sinan HOD Department of Computer Science and Engineering to read out the student names of Computer Science Department I request architect Manoj Ladhar to give away the memer and memento one and all present over here now i call upon the graduates of department of computer science engineering followed by the masters of technology to collect their mementos and memoir uh, can you proceed in the alphabetical order start with mr abdul samad kalandar mr abdul shakir ms afifa fatima Ms. Afreen, Mr. Ahmadul Kabir, Ms. Aksana, Ms. Ashrita L, Ms. Atika B. Safa. Ms. Atifa Abdullah, Ms. Aisha Afra, Ms. Aisha Nasifa, Ms. Azmiya, Mr. Muhammad Marzuk, Ms. Farisha. Ms. Fatima Saima, Ms. Fiza Fatima, Ms. Juliet, Ms. Mufarnisa, Ms. Khadija Mubina, Mr. Muhammad Minas, Mr. Muhammad Mushtaq. Mr. Muhammad Shabib, Mr. Muhammad Ziad, Mr. Muhammad Arshid, Mr. Muhammad Fasil, Mr. Muhammad Hashir, Mr. Muhammad Razik. Ms. Mufida, Mr. Muhammad Hafid, Mr. Muhammad Akif, Mr. Muhammad Shaz Ahmed, Ms. Priya R. Naik, Ms. Samshira. Ms. Sony, Ms. Sira Samchad, Ms. Tashrifa, Ms. Zainab Shifana, Last, Mr. Muhammad Raees Sajhan. Followed by the Masters, M. Tech. Computer Science of Engineering, Ms. Aisha Tashrifa P, Mrs. Sadia Afreen, 
Miss Tuba Nagin Nakhuda. Thank you one and all. Hearing. To read out the student names of Electronics and Communication Department, I request our beloved chairman to give away the memoir and memento. Thank you. Good morning to one and all. First of all, I would like to congratulate uh, those who have successfully completed their course in different fields of engineering by their hard work, dedication and discipline and commitment. Now I'll read out the names. Amina Lifom, Anmol Joseph, Aishat Safura K, Reshmi, Danush SK, Fatima Bushra, Fatimat Hasiba, Habib Rahman, Ete Shamuddin, Ismail Sawad, Khatija Ishrat, Manisha Minha Jabbas Mohammad Siyad Shushmita Shushmita K Yamunappa Khatija Nasila As one of our guests said, graduation is not the end, it is the beginning. So start using what you have learned and learn the new things. With this, on behalf of management, faculty, staff and students my own, and my own own, I wish you all the best for your future endeavor. May Almighty bless you all. Thank you. I now request Dr. Vasant Kumar, HOD, Department of Mechanical Engineering to read out the student names of Mechanical Department. I request Dr. Kishore Kumar to give away the memory and momentum. Good morning, one and all present here. It gives an immense pleasure to announce graduates of Mechanical Engineering Department, Mr. Abubakar Khan, Mr. Abdul Rahman, Mr. Dritta Kumar, Mr. Dinakara, Mr. Faiz Umar, Mr. Mahmad Anaz. Mr. Ibrahim Afraz, Mr. Ibrahim Safiq, Mr. Ibrahim Safel GK, Mr. Pawan Kumar, 
मिस्टर मोहम्मद जुनेद मिस्टर मोहम्मद रमीज मिस्टर मोहम्मद आफ्ताब मिस्टर मोहम्मद कैफ मिस्टर मोहम्मद सैजाद मिस्टर मोहिदीन अरशद मिस्टर मोहम्मद राइस मिस्टर मोहम्मद मुशरफ मिस्टर प्रशांत कोटीना मिस्टर राशिद शेख मिस्टर रियाज एंड पटेल मिस्टर शेख अफरीद मिस्टर तनवीर अली मिस्टर वनस्यम मिस्टर वाहिद आहमद मिस्टर महबूब साहब मिस्टर अजहर दानिश मिस्टर मोहम्मद इरफान के ए मिस्टर मोहम्मद अंसर मिस्टर सुहेल बी वाई मिस्टर सिगवादुल्ला मिस्टर शौकत अली फ्रॉम एम टेक ग्रेजुएट्स मिस्टर मोहम्मद अनस विद दिस विश यू गुड लक फॉर युअर फ्यूचर एंड एवर्स गॉड ब्लेस रिक्वेस्ट प्रोफेसर मालाश्री एच ओ डी ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग पॉलिटेक्निक टू रीड आउट द स्टूडेंट नेम्स ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिप्लोमा स्टूडेंट्स आ रिक्वेस्ट आर प्रिंसिपल ऑफ बी आई टी डॉक्टर एस आई मंजूर बाशा टू हैंड ओवर द मेमोर एंड मेमेंटो गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल इट गिवस मी आई मीन्स प्लेजर टू अनाउंस द अवॉर्ड इज ऑफ सिक्स बैच ऑफ डिप्लोमा सिविल इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स नाउ आई कॉल अप वन स्टूडेंट टू टेक देयर होनर अफरीना एच ए अहमद अजीम आमिर मोशिन माज हसन मोहम्मद अतीक एन मोहम्मद इजाज अली मरियम सुहादा मोहम्मद शिहाब राशिम यूसुफ अहमद स्वाबीर यू एस तस्नीम थैंक यू विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट I request Professor Anas, HOD Department of Mechanical Engineering, BIT Polytechnic, to read out the student names of Mechanical Engineering. I request Architect Ashok L P Mandan sir, Principal Beats, to give away the memo and memo. Thank you all. I would like to read out the names of Diploma Mechanical Engineering. Please come and collect the memo. Abu Bakar Munaz M A. Al Safwan. Rahman Abdul Saifuddin Abdul Samad A Ibrahim Batish K Muhammad Kamal एम अब्दुल बाशिम एम फहद फहद ब्रदर इज गोइंग टू कलेक्ट द मोमेंट ऑफ फहद सलमान फारिश सनवास ताइफ मोहम्मद सादिक मोहम्मद अफनान मोहम्मद आशिर मोहम्मद अस्कर 
मोहम्मद हुसैन मोहम्मद उवैस मोहम्मद इस्माइल मोहम्मद जावेद मोहम्मद राइस मोहम्मद सादिक सफर सोली समीर शाहिल मोहम्मद शाहिल मोहम्मद शियाद मोहम्मद इलियास मोहम्मद शुएब मोहम्मद अफलल मुर्शिद नौफल सलमान शामिल शेख अनफल उमेश नायक एंड लास्ट जहीर अब्बास थैंक यू थैंक यू अनंद स्टूडेंट्स यू विल ऑलवेज बी रिमेंबर एंड ओथ इज अ सॉलम प्रॉमिस ऑफ एन इनवोकिंग अ डिवाइन विटनेस मे आई कॉल अपॉन डॉक्टर अजीज मुस्तफा principal barius institute of emerging sciences to administer the oath i request the students to kindly raise from your seats dear graduating students please note that tassel on your graduating key, uh, cap should be on the right okay on your memoir you will find on the rear side of the front page you will find beads and beatians solemn oath and supplication okay now hold that in the left hand stretch your right arm to the shoulder level repeat after me bismillahir rahmanir rahim oh god help me to be truthful in the face of the mighty and to refrain from speaking ill in order to gain the applause of the weak oh god should you give me wealth do not take away my happiness and should you give me might do not take away my wisdom oh god teach me to love others as i love myself and teach me to judge myself as i judge others oh god do not curse me with arrogance should i be successful nor with despair and hopelessness should i fail oh god should you give me success do not take away my humility remind me always that failure is the trial that precedes success oh god should you take away my wealth do keep me ever hopeful and should i fail let me keep the power of determination and faith oh god should i have harmed others give me the courage to apologize and should others harm me do bless me with grace to forgive oh god bless my alma mater and the faculty that has taught me nurtured me prepared me 
well for the journey ahead. May they continue to enlighten Beats and BITNs with the best of knowledge and wisdom. Oh my God, make my journey worthy. Make my task easy and make my life virtuous and successful. For you are the greatest, the vanquisher and the all-powerful in all matters. Today in the presence of this August gathering, I promise my alma mater, my parents, my teachers and fellow Beats and BITNs to work to the best of my ability with utmost honesty and integrity. So, help me my God. Congratulations. Now you can move your tassel on to the left side. Okay? Program. I now request Ms. Rihana Hanina, Assistant Professor of English, to introduce our guest. Dr. Kishore Kumar K. will be leaving the program because of his busy schedule. I request beloved chairman, along with the other dignitaries, to offer a token of appreciation. <laughs> Good afternoon, all of you. I am Rehna Hanina Sheikh, Assistant Professor of English Department in Beres Institute of Emerging Science. I take this opportunity to welcome and introduce our guest of honor, Dr. G.C. Mohan Kumar. Dr. G.C. Mohan Kumar is a professor of higher administrative grade in the Department of Mechanical Engineering at NITK Suratgal since 2007. He graduated from Bangalore University and, uh, and has earned his PhD from IIT Madras in Biomechanics. At present, he is a Dean of Faculty Welfare and Administration as well as the professor in charge on behalf of director at NITK Suratgal. He was a lecturer in mechanical engineering since 1986, assistant professor for six years, and became professor and head of the department in 2004 at BIET. In the academics, so far he has guided more than 50 MTech theses and has supervised 22 PhD scholars. His areas of specialization are mechanical design engineering, biomechanics, biocomposites, and implants. He has completed many research projects and has published more than 250 research articles. He has authored six course materials in AICTE Continuous Education Program and has edited 19 conferences, workshops and other faculty development proceedings. He is the editor of Advances in Mechanical Design, Materials and Manufacture and Advances in Polymer Composites published by American Institute of Physics. It is our privilege to have you as a guest of honor and we are eager to hear from you, sir. Thank you. Good morning, all. I'm audible? Yes, yes. Thank you. Respected President of Graduation Day of Ceremony, Shri Syed Muhammad Bariji, Guest of Honor, Shri Venugopal, Dr. Neela Manjanath, Dr. Kishore Kumar. Head of Institution, Dr. Manir Basha, Principal BIT, Dr. Ashok Mendoz, BADS, Dr. Aziz Musafa, BIES, and Professor Prithviraj, the director of Polytechnic. Dear young graduates, parents, faculty and staff, management and governors of various group of institutions, invitees, ladies and gentlemen. Very good morning you all and the greetings of the day. I am extremely happy and honored to deliver the graduation day address in this auspicious occasion of all graduates and the diploma holders. Thank you all for the big invitation. 
hardly I may take about 10 minutes of my delivery of the speech drafted and approved. As a student sitting in a class over 20 years, from LKG, schooling, diploma, B, BTEC, PhD and the postdoctoral, and later standing as a teacher again in the same classroom over 35 years. In my life of 60 years, 50 years or more I was in the classroom. It is a place of learning, the temple of learning and is my life. It is a great occasion for me to address and congratulate the students, equally appreciate the teaching faculty and staff making you all the great with the most virtuous of that institute. Ordinary sense of learning. I will take you more of philosophical rather than more of academic and engineering because it is more meaningful our lifetime. Ordinary sense of learning is from the nature. As a first breath, we are in the safe hands of mother. First the few months, we are connected only to mother, nothing else. Mother is connected to the child only. It is a totally of their own world, the mother, child and child and the mother. And further, as we grow, just extend to the family, it will identify the father or a brother or a mother, kind of, within the home of environment, we learn a lot of things. As we grow further, go out of the house, you will see the wonders. So many neighbors, so many people have been around and the society. As we spend much and much, I have a lot of scope for the learning and finally of the deep learning and finally we talk about the ordinary sense of learning. This has been totally inorganized, no way related. We learn on our own. We cry whenever we are hungry. We would like to tell something we something to others. We share our moments and also we learn from the lot from mother, home, neighbors and finally the society. And later on when we cross five or six years of age, we jump into school. Till then mother was the supreme. Whatever she expressed or told it was correct, true and accepted without argument. When you jump into the school, the, there will be a dramatical change in that occurs. The teachers, whatever she says, that is right, not the mother. Child start arguing with the mother. Say so it is the power of learning. Every moment you agree with your teacher at the classroom, then at home your mother. And further, as we grow, it has been wonderful from a level increases, the deep of learning improves, then finally you will come to this stage. At the level of the graduates, you will see that you may feel nothing to learn more. The entire institutions of the various of institutions, BIT, BLDS, BIEs, uh, the Polytechnic has contributed a lot to you, that's why we are here. The what next? It would be a difficult task to everyone. When you shift from the ordinary, the sense of learning to the graduation day of this convocation today, it firmly says 
you had enough learning in your life and now it is a time to practice the graduation day makes you from the learning to the practice we expect you to do something on your own or you work elsewhere for yourself for your life you want to become a professional excel yourself in the open space lot of opportunities to work but which needs the honest contribution commitment and the creativity and smartness in your work otherwise the process of learning miserably fails whatever the things you have learned it is going to be vain unless you work honest for your work in the creativity also the graduation day proposes to recall and remember your teachers who taught you your parents spent a lot of thing on imaginable institute which facilitated you in a greater extent that it realizes your dream at least you say thank you to all now thanks to your teacher you can't say yes word thank you yes thank you to your teachers thanks to the institute and all your even their friends too later on you had to decide yourself you want to be a good labor or a good leader you want to work with elsewhere with someone it is good if you want to be an entrepreneur it is more pleasure than looking for a job elsewhere make your own right whenever we go to the industry there will be a lot of uh, debates i do agree with uh, professor venkatesan the system of technical education in india is the most robust the strong in basics and applications you cannot compete with any country that as if we always we are proud that india with the education technical education is the best that's why you will see the more of the technocrats all over the world which is sufficient enough to enter the industry with confidence uh, today or to begin or you start an in industry as an entrepreneur this is the time for the bold measures to land yourself in an industry work for the better future and happy alone you and your family because you are drawing attractive salary or become an entrepreneur make many people happier just you will be starting in a company or employing the hundreds of the people you will be make the other people to be happier it lies within you and your decision to lead life a labor or a master with the limited exposure in industrial environment frankly our education is more of theoretical and the classroom work somewhere here we will see the internship and finally projects at the end with this the limited exposure of the industrial environment our students are doing extremely well and also been successful have a very limited exposure i hope couple of months in the internship six months maybe your project even within that you have done exceedingly well but i do not agree with comments of industrial people that is here that our technical education is not suit to ready to practice it means our education should drive to see that it suits the industry sir i do not agree with sir there are thousands of types of industries crores of products what education you give in the matter of the four months if you expect all the industries to meet i hope four year course should be 50 years course then only he will be ready for river industry right and there are thousands of industries okay i propose that if you want 
our education be to ready to the industry industry and the institute relation should be enhanced how it has to be enhanced let the industry propose the content and the syllabus identify the experts to deliver it it is a part of industry not for the academia or institute then employ them for a group of people you train and you observe don't blame the education system you make the value added programs suppose vlsi designed for the btech student you run with the six months program particularly the students who you want you train them then you observe them then we will see that our education is most effective don't blame in common nothing is free for this part pay the honorarium to the experts and the teachers not from the institute i am talking about the industry has to pay the honorarium to the teachers scholarship to the students and also overhead charges to the institute the entire world of that industry what we are addressing they are recruiting the people from our institution free nothing has paid to the institute whatever the uh, fruit of this institute has been grabbed freely nothing has given to the institute let industries come out with a proposal to support institute then you will see the quality of education how it will be a different okay okay that's fine about it and we will see uh, some of the modules have been started and initiated uh, 15% from institute and 85 from the industry we will running the courses of certification for the particular students particularly from the leading industries including lnt reliance a lot of institutions have been the proposed this model the learning is a continuous all the time in our life since from the beginning of the breath to the last even after the graduation pursuing higher study is optional while working don't leave our education at this summer you are working elsewhere you see that how you, you can extend to it earn to study earn to live and earn for your good future finally when you have been working elsewhere your uniform or hands is not dirty you have not been played a game at all it means you have not worked you see that how you are involved in industry for its the development give equal preferences and importance to work for yourself and others suppose out of the 10 people one of the two people be in a different whole company will be in a soup all the people have to be work in a team together to the success of all if you have done i hope i will repeat some of them been the previously been told if you have not done any mistakes then you have not tried anything new errors and the mistakes has to happen but not repeat the success to say is a right place with the failures successful in the every event say what is right in the practice while failures to say not to practice it has become a kind of the learning both are important in our process of learning treat success and the failure equally and further to see that mistakes are not repeated that is a totally the theme of that failures uh, let me congratulate you all the graduates for acquiring degrees may master bless you all for the best in your the future endeavors thanks to chairman a very is group of uh, management for the opportunity to uh, deliver the address it has been a wonderful occasion for me to address both graduates the students on the side and uh, academic council head of the department the faculty on the other side i am also 
uh, happy to express my views of the today's event. The graduates are the one fourth of the hall. The remaining is filled with the parents. I hope uh, we understand the importance of the family, their presence. The parents have given a lot right from the child. Learning something have struggled with their existing the background to give the education to you. At the beginning, it's a kind of a learning. We'll be happy with the books, writing notebooks with the pencils. Later on, as we grow, we have forgotten to scribe also only kind of a listening. And nowadays, they have forgotten to see the textbooks also because the textbooks are available everywhere other than books in the physical form. When the things has come from offline to online, most of kids, including primary to engineering, everyone have got a wonderful mobile in their hand. You may not aware of it, some of the parents have taken EMI, borrowed money from others for their education, but not all, some of them. Kids were so busy with the mobile, Google search, KitKat, TikTok, gaming, playing cricket, volleyball, what next and everything, including movies. During so, they have forgotten to spend half a minute to say hello to their moms. Whenever you call them, they all, always the mobile is busy. I do not know what they have been doing it or have been putting off. At least in a day, just you call your parent or at least mother or uh, your father or your brothers, not more than 30 seconds even, say hello, that will be enough, right? Your life will be in a happy moment. No, but this era of this mobile has spoiled the relationship with even sitting together or sitting across over the table, we are not at all facing each other because we are busy with the mobile and the content. It is not so. And finally, I cannot uh, conclude uh, my speech, particularly this day. Institute, various of Institute of Technology, the beads or the polytechnic are things given you a lot. That has uh, transformed your life into an uh, engineering or being a professional. As an alma mater, once you passed out, you think of what you can return to institute, what way. As an alma mater, you have to support the institute here afterwards. I am happy to contribute that NITK Suratkul alma mater will be presenting at least of one crore in each year. That will be utilized for building or the purpose, uh, providing the fees for the needy students and sometimes works like a bank know when the people do not have money to pay the fee, Alma Matter and the Alumni Association will pay their fee and later on to recover it and a lot of activities that have been done. Okay. We will be happy at least if you spare one day salary in each year that institute will, bordering will be much lesser and lesser, even they can provide you a better, right? In every convocation, we address the student, especially by this uh, Dean of uh, Almam Association and the International Relations tip to build the relationships among the students. We'll be working elsewhere and everywhere, but uh, this will network, connects you all, and to see that, Alma Mater 
aluminies are giving regularly some contribution to the institute that will make okay so this uh, i uh, take this opportunity and this dias to appeal my all the graduates who have been taken the degrees from this institute you should agree to, to pay something to the institute back at libc a small amount even of uh, one rupee of thousand students will make the things be in a different make you think now you have to take care of your own institute what is given you a new life okay thank you thank you very much for listening to me for at the table and uh, especially thank um, the chairman sir and the management and institute for inviting me to deliver the graduation day thank you all talk thank you sir we have with us architect manoj ladhad as guest of honor of today's program i request professor umme najma to introduce our guest good afternoon one and all present over here i am umme najma sk assistant professor csc department first of all i would like to congratulate all the students ug and pg for your well deserved success congratulations on your graduation and best wishes for your next adventures I am highly honored and privileged to welcome and introduce today's guest of honor Mr Manoj Ladhad principal architect founder designer CAD having a total work experience of 25 years in council of architecture Architect Manoj is one of the founders of the widely recognized Bengaluru based architectural practice architecture paradigm who are known for their unique design sensibility and their ability to point near innovative concepts having studied architecture at bms college of engineering architect manoj established the firm along with his classmates in the year 1996 he believes in the fact that the creative potential of architecture lies in politically celebrating life through spaces while minimizing the impact of our environment through the years he has lectured widely apart from being involved with various architectural schools in the capacity of a visiting faculty most recently he has been on the board of studies at the wadio school of architecture in mysore professionally he has been involved in a broad spectrum of projects spread across the india ranging from single family residences to urban design he has been also a centric on the firm's absorption and use of the latest technology to handle projects on and off site he has been instrumental in the development of document which is a project data management software being used by leading architecture practices today the work of his studio has been extensively published in the various media over the years the practices has been recognized with 61 awards which includes both national and international commendations thank you sir for your presence and your time thank you thank you one and all hi all i am not a formal person uh, but i just start with hi thank you all the gnirza dais uh well my idea of uh, addressing you people is like feeling myself being there and it feels like yesterday you know and uh, it's been 27 years since i was thrown out of college like you all are going to be thrown today nevertheless it is an important occasion and an important event for each one of you to register yourself as to what you become i want to bring to you a important aspect of what happens to you now and what you have done with yourself okay i feel that you become the chosen one even if you didn't want to be but you are the chosen one now what do i mean by being the chosen one that you become a professional today okay and what's a profession about why is a professional different from the other uh, genre of people and order of works that people do the fact that you chose to become a professional whether you are forced into it you chose because your friends chose it you chose it because your parents told you 
or whatever, you are the chosen one today. And to give you an equivalence of profession is that a doctor, a lawyer, a chart accountant, an architect and an engineer. Okay? So these are the industries in of spectrum which fall into the code of profession. Now profession is essentially a service to the industry, service to mankind, service to humanity. Which means that you burn a lot more responsibility to yourselves, to the humanity, to everybody around you for what you have. What is it that you have? You have this college, which is like a trampoline, you jumped on it. You could jump as much as you wanted to jump. You didn't want to jump, it let you be there. Right? So that trampoline is the base where you started your thought process. You, you tried to become the chosen one. And now you're going to be and moving into the profession. And there will be no more trampoline there. Right? The trampoline has disappeared into your minds, into the skills that you have been distilling yourselves over these years. And how do you look at life? And how do you look at your work that you're doing? So I'm going to cover simple three topics, uh, which I believe are important at, at your age. First being aspirations, which we all have and you must have. Second being ethics. And third, my fellow friend also sp spoke about money. To give you an example of how life treats you going forward, you know, life is not fair. Till now you are protected by your parents, by your fellow friends, by your teachers, by the entire community. But you are going to enter the bad, bad world and remember, remember I quote today, the world is not fair. You have to make it fair. You have to make it fair by your actions, by your deeds, by your thought process and by what you believe is going to make a difference to yourself, your parents, your community and mankind in general. How does this happen? This happens because you have aspirations. You want to achieve something and prove your worth, prove your knowledge, prove your... They're different from being, say, your neighbor who's just a graduate in a regular uh, industry whether it's a BCom or so, not that they are not fit for the job, they are also required, they are also part of the machinery. But what makes you apart is the technical skill set that you have gained in this place, in this campus, which gives you the ability to solve and address problems that are being going to be thrown to you, problems that are unknown to you, problems that you think are there, are non-existential or non, not important, they've been uh, improperly juxtaposed onto you but these are the layers which you have to distill constantly to emerge and prove that you have actually learned. So the aspirations actually drive these layers through you, through what you want to be and how do you reach your goals. We all give a lot of importance to money and the aspirations become money then that's not aspirations. Because money is something that will make you run, it will always be ahead of you. But if you run behind what your aspirations are, money will run behind you. That's the difference. Now when you are working with aspirations and money, the biggest question comes in is the ethics. Now ethics in a profession is very, very important because any act, any thought, anything that you do, has an impact either positive or negative and the positive impact can become negative subsequently. Just to give you a simple example, like in 1834, people are trying to find solutions to freeze things, you know, to store food for longer. So the uh, great scientist, I forget his name, comes up with, uh, Charles something it was, comes up with this idea of using CFC f as a refrigerant. Okay, that's when refrigerants were invented. Okay, 
it was uh, it was not until 1940s and 1950s where scientists started to gaze there is a big problem on the planet earth none of you know this because you're not born with it and the problem is solved even before you are kind of getting to your uh, understanding so we had this problem of ozone layer depleting okay and there's a big hole in our atmosphere which was not one hole many holes in the atmosphere which was causing trouble to our planet earth and in the history of mankind which is a documented history of about 3000 years in the last 50 to 100 years is where we have caused the maximum damage to the planet earth which means that people like you me have thought of these solutions okay and created these problems why am i highlighting these problems to you people because you're not even walked into the industry i'm sure that one of you sitting here is going to come out with a solution which is really really beautiful it is dynamic you know every person that is holding a phone today is thanks to somebody who has invented it every person who is enjoying the phone inside what is there is to thanks to millions of engineers and you know scientists who have thought and worked on it to make your life much more easy gone are the days when we believed that e is equal e is mc squared was the biggest uh, you know invention of formulas and laws of uh, physics we are today questioning back those laws so what history you have read and what history i have read you already read 50 years of more history than i have at least 30 years right which means that the amount of problems that we have created or the amount of solutions that we have found okay are so complex and so intertwined that we need to work you need to work we all have to work towards a different environment and remember the industry is looking at you with extra lens what i call is call you people as the covid graduates what do i say by covid graduates that you have done two years of education online and the industry is seriously thinking whether you are having the skills up here or not are you prepared to face or solve the problems that you are being thrown upon or not are you busy joking around with your friends around there like how he's been doing happily you know that's what people are looking at people are actually looking at you people little more seriously and have a different commitment unless you rise up to the commitment of raising to that yes i have the skill sets i can solve the problems i can move into the industry whether you work whether you become an entrepreneur whether you join your father's profession or your father's business or whatever it is you have that extra edge of ability to think to question and to put things together an engineering mind right an architect's mind that ability not everyone can possess because that skill set and the technical knowledge that you profess makes you a profession and a professional especially uh, unlike other professions like a doctor or a lawyer they service in pain man goes to a doctor or a lawyer or a chartered accountant in pain but he comes to an engineer or an architect in prosperity in joy to create something new to make things better so when you are working on something you have to remember that you are shouldering the responsibility to that level of aspiration that he is carrying and his aspiration becomes your aspiration for you to work and develop something more so the whole idea of this idea of servicing somebody or giving service to mankind you know is intertwined intertwined with your skill set and the skill set gives you the money and remember service industry is something like you are thirsty you dig the well every day the day you think you have enough well enough well in the water you are no more thirsty because the thirst is the skill that you have thirst is the solution that you are trying to find and if you think that water is there water may be there but you are no more no more thirsty which means you are no more creative you are no more you know getting into your next layers of being able to prove yourself so it's imperative that you understand how you are being going to be treated uh going into the, uh, the 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 new world the new world of climate change so the problems that till now were solved are solved to some extent but you're going to deal with new problems new problems of climate change new problems of 
how do you deal with excess like you all dealing with excesses of information today we dealt with no information today you're dealing with excess information and you're going to deal with junk information which you're already dealing with okay so anybody puts in something like i remember i called this google as google baba because baba in uh, in hindu mythology it's called that he's almighty he knows everything so google baba knows everything so you question google baba he'll answer you something when google baba started as a platform it was very very uh, well layered and well filtered it showed what it wanted what you wanted to see it showed you information that was relevant but today moment i type i want to know this it doesn't show you what you want to see it shows you what it wants to show you so that's the corruption in ethics that i'm talking about where money becomes more priority i'm not saying google is doing right or wrong i'm i'm, I'm nobody to judge them but the the transformation that has happened for a company like google where they were so pure and direct about giving you the right information today when you say how do you solve this okay it will first give you advertisements of these people are selling this next it will give you advertisements of these people are capable of doing this next it will give you solutions of this many things are possible it will not tell you how to solve the problem so if you think that the google baba is going to solve all your life problems of life forget it it's your capability and your skill set that are going to solve problem for you and for the larger mankind and i think i'm being a little bored because all of you are getting a little distracted so i'm going to wind up my uh, thoughts over here because i get distracted when you are not paying attention okay thank you all bye bye students are enlightened with your talk thank you sir it's time for our students to share their experiences i appeal to any student from beats to come and share your experiences please honorable chief guests chairman dignitaries on and off the dais uh, my peers families and all the faculties uh, good morning myself amal student of beats uh, batch of 17 Uh, today is such a day i think uh, this should be the second most hyped day of uh, the life of a ug student the first being the first day of admission or i mean the first day or the orientation day which i suppose was 5 years ago and i still uh, I, it still boggles my mind that that day was 5 years ago and uh, i can assure that right now to my juniors that it just passes away in a blink of time I was asked uh, if I could speak uh, of my experiences of the last 5 years and I think any attempt to sum it all down into just one or two minutes of uh, speech would be either impossible or uh, an insult to the whole uh, experience that I had in this wonderful campus with wonderful friends and families that I created also to give an advice to the juniors i don't know if i'm yet uh, qualified to give an advice but i think if you really if you really love something if you really want to achieve something then i think nevertheless whatever stops you you will achieve it uh, no matter if you're lacking any uh, resources or anything nothing can stop you if you really want to achieve it so i think that is a factual <clears throat> so now the only thing i am left with is to be grateful that's the only thing i can be com uh, confidently doing it today here yeah, so <clears throat> um i want to be extremely grateful first of all to the institution uh, to the wonderful uh, management uh, to the great array of faculties uh, all the resources that is available because uh, what i believe is architecture in gen uh, particularly cannot be taught architecture can only be learned so uh, thank you for giving the best to teach architecture to us to speak the language of architecture um next i um i have my absolute gratitude to my dearest hostel wardens i think sinan sir is there sinan sir is there right <laughs> Sinan sir and Sherif sir, I want to thank uh, to the wonderful hostel fac uh, facility because um, uh, for all the support, great understanding and support care they have given to me. They manifested in me that you only get respect if you give respect. And if I have achieved anything, I think that is because I never left the hostel facility for the last five years. I was in the hostel itself. So thank you for giving me all the support and understanding. 
here's a uh, here's a huge hug to all my batch mates um, we were just hands handful but the memories that we created together is just enormous i also learned that uh, the greatest friends you ever make might be the people you meet online because especially we were an online uh, uh, we had an online uh, what uh, educational journey of 2 years so uh, five years ago i was added to a whatsapp group with just 40 50 strangers pan india and we were just discussing cinema and uh, today with me um, uh, today we are no longer just discussing cinema we discuss various aspects of life when we are struggling with different things we reach out to each other today uh, on behalf of my family they are not here right now they couldn't att uh, attend so i have two of my friends amalna and rishik so i want to thank them please give a yeah because we are just people who met online but the friendship just grew out of everything and um, Uh, finally uh, i want to thank and give my all my love to my family my parents and uh, for understanding me for teaching me that good communication is key uh, thank you for making me healthy and i i would like to conclude by uh, wishing all the best to my fellow graduates and the future graduates and i see some little tiny kids here who will be once again the uh, uh, graduates thank you and thank you jesus i request the technical team to display the video in 12 with all hopes lost i entered bit but bit channelized me so well and today after 4 years i am here at bitspilani for my masters in structural engineering from bit mangalore to bitspilani was a wonderful journey my name is ahmed shakik i am a civil engineering graduate of 2022 it is very hard to summarize 4 years in few minutes let me still give a shot first day when i entered the college everything looked very strange the campus the hostel and everyone around then started the fun talks silly fights trips classes assignments exams and hostel nights reverberate by the end of fourth year we all started noticing a lot of things which were very strange on the first day Today I realize every quote inscribed on the walls of BIT campus has a voice of its own impacting the students. Officially titled Covid batch of ours had been through three semesters of online classes which people will talk for decades. I really miss the remote campus and the hostel cherished with the beauty of nature and ambient atmosphere which made me feel home. in person visit of our chairman and the motivation had a great impact i thank almighty for all the blessings he bestowed upon me today i take this opportunity to specially thank my parents for all their support and immense care throughout my life i really regret for not being able to be physically present there to thank everyone it's a mere use of abundant resource and knowledge of faculties of bit that made me speak today i thank professor zahir ahmed who taught us right from the first semester and who had been a good mentor i thank professor purushottama for his priceless motivation and guidance i thank professor vijay for helping me to choose the right path at every junction of confusion I thank the whole faculty team who are the backbone of success stories of many of us. I thank all my friends who had been throughout my journey in those difficult times and making it memorable. Keeping all those memories for myself, I thank every person who had been in my life. May you all have a great success ahead. Being an average perform boy in 12th with all hopes lost and I appeal to the student from Computer Science and Engineering Department to share his views. A very good morning, one and all. My name is Afrin from CAC Department. A very good morning to respected dignitaries on the dais, of the dais, teaching and non-teaching staff, respected parents, and my dear friends soon to be graduated. 
Today is a beautiful day, if you ask me. I'm feeling right now. The feeling is kind of sweet, salty, spicy, altogether very tangy and overwhelming. I'm emotional and sad because it's very hard to end this and say goodbye. I'm very excited and nervous about my future and I'm very happy in the present. It's like butterflies in feeling inside my stomach and sky is full of confetti. If I was ever given a dandelion and asked to make a wish, I would wish to cherish this memory and embrace it forever. I have never got this amazing faculties and friends in my entire life. Today, we are receiving the fruit of the hard work that put all these years. If anyone asked me in future, what did I get coming to BIT? I would proudly say I got my identity as an engineer. The identity I can be proud of in my entire life. It's really a pleasure to be a part of BIT. Funny as it is, it's time for our parents and faculties to kick from the edge of the branch and for us to learn how to fly. But fly with responsibility to embrace the outside world with positivity. Responsibility of never falling down, but fly very high, making everyone around us very proud. Last but not the least, I would like to thank everyone for being the part of this beautiful journey. All the best everyone. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am Anumol Joseph, ECE graduate. It gives me great honor to speak on behalf of my class of 2018. Thank you all for, the, for giving me the opportunity to speak. And congratulations to the 2018 batch. Today marks the achievement of milestone in our journey. But remember, the milestone does not show the distance we have already traveled. It always shows the distance that is to be traveled. It is an honor to be standing before you on such a memorable occasion. Thank you to BIT management, faculty, staff, dear friends and family members for their unconditional support to transform our dreams into reality for most of all. Transforming us from students into techies and innovators and thanks to our Savior Almighty for helping us every step of the way. I feel extremely happy to be here as a graduate today. And dear friends, we did it. We all accomplished one of the major milestones of our lives. One that should be recognized for its immense significance. It is an act not only of personal commitment, but also one of pride. Today, four years of journey comes to an end. Lifetime promise to excellence, commitment, and service begins. And most preciously, being here, in this campus where we started our journey as engineering students remembers me many happy moments of my life. We came from different families, different places, states and started our journey here. We are apart from branches but we are united with happiness. And those are the golden days of our life which we will not be able to walk back again. But it gave us a lot of memories in this green campus. We all experienced a beautiful journey throughout these four years and we had our professors who made these four years everything that we are. We may not be able to thank them or express our gratitude to them just by our words. And also, the campus will be really missed further because of these loving and kind ones. We have received an excellent education here, which makes it far more than a step between engineering and real world, but rather a stepping stone to our futures. And we don't have to stop here. This graduation has already shown us how capable we are of accomplishing our goals when we commit ourselves to them. I hope all of us here today can take this personal accomplishment as an example of how anything is truly possible when we put our minds to it. As we all continue in our lives, let us take each new problem with confidence, knowing that we have achieved great heights and are equipped with the necessary tools to tackle our futures. At the end, I would like to say, the past is my heritage, the present my responsibility, the future my challenge. Cherish yesterday, live for today, and reach for tomorrow. Thank you BIT again for your full support to transform our dreams into reality. Thank you. I'm proud to be here. I'm finally an engineering graduate. And 
I have not prepared anything, just I am speaking out of my heart. Like, when I came here on first year, it was a completely different atmosphere for me, because I am from Kerala, and everything was different. The only guy I knew was my friend from my high secondary, Mohammed Iftisham, and every other thing, every bit of this college was different for me, and it was entirely a different experience from Kerala. And I have made great friends, and I have made great relations with many people here. And especially I would like to thank uh, all my friends, my classmates. They have played a very, like much a great experience, given a great experience for me. And they have helped me in studies, uh, in my character development, everything. And I'm a hostler, my four years, yeah, like two years, back two years we were in home. Like this two years I was in hostel and it was my second home. And who doesn't love good food? And I love to thank my dear Karimaka. He was our chief chef in hostel. He never had made us miss our homely food. And I would like to thank our HOD who was very supportive. And I take this opportunity to thank my project guide, Dr. Imran sir and Kafil sir, who has been a immense support at every time. And also our lab at faculty, Clement sir, he has been a helpful. And beyond the department, we had a great relation with all other departments also, even with the faculties, such faculties that uh, uh, I love them and more I care about them is uh, Sayed Zar and Sinan Sir. They have been a uh, great support to me and they have guided me a lot. And apart from everything, when I'm leaving this campus, I have made only relations and good friends. They are more like a family to me. Thank you. Thank you, BJT. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Amir Moshin from Civil Engineering a Diploma. I would like to take. I would like. I would like to take this opportunity to express my gratitude for all that BIT has given to me. I am very proud to say that I am completing my Civil Engineering Diploma today. It has been possible only with the support and care which I have received from Diploma principal, teachers, mentors, parents, and friends. If I am standing here today to give this speech, they are the reason who have instilled confidence in me. I thank Almighty for all the wonderful opportunity and I hope many more students like me will take the best out of this institution. Thank you so much. Our alumni who have reached to various destinations from our college and uh, we are proud to say that we have a few with us to share their views and experiences that they have witnessed at various academy of learning. So, firstly we will have Akshay Navin, who is a senior develop, DevOps engineer with over nine years of experience. He is from the first outgoing batch of BIT, currently working as a senior developer at Novadris LLP Bangalore. Let us listen to him through online mode. Uh, okay. So, hi, good afternoon to everyone present here. Um, I take this opportunity to actually thank uh, all the lecturers that we had uh, in our first batch, starting with uh, Sheikh Mohidin sir, uh, Mustafa Bastikodi. Uh, when I go back uh, to the work that I do, I do realize how important it was to listen to what they were teaching us and how we can uh, apply what they taught us here. So uh, I'd like to thank all the lecturers that uh, made it, uh, I mean, left an uh, mark uh, so that we succeed in our lives. So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of them and to all the students that I can't see most of you, but graduating. So congratulations on your uh, achievements and going ahead. Uh, please don't take life as a competition. Everyone's going to have their own career paths. So uh, make sure you do your best effort and then the path will follow. You'll find success in your life. So thank you. Thanks for the opportunity to uh, speak today. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Mr. Rakshi. We have with us Mr. Vikrant who is our alumni, who has pursued Diploma in Civil Engineering in 2018 batch. He is currently pursuing his master's degree in Newcastle University, specialized in urban planning. Let us listen to him. Can start. Uh, 
Manos, everyone. Good morning. Uh, this is Vikram Surendra Kamli of Batch 2015, BIT Polytechnic. Indeed, it's a very beautiful memory. Uh, our batch definitely saw a very important milestone in the uh, journey of BIT Polytechnic. I was the batch which saw Dr. Aziz Mustafa sir take over as a dean of BIT Polytechnic. If I have to take some quick flashback into the campus life, I think it is one of the best experience. Three wonderful years where we met amazing people who are batchmate, friends even today. Some excellent faculties whose thought process learning stayed with us forever. And the interaction with the Mr. Sayed Mohammed Barry sir, it was really wonderful. Today I would like to talk great experience at BIT and how made me become a better person as I am today, uh, way back in 2015, I was a guy who came to part of like who came to other other part of Mangalore from very first time. Uh, it was a different environment, all the way from city zone. And I was 17. I had a no clear vision of future. I was too young to know what I wanted to do in a life. I was scared. I'll, uh, it's like I'll not fit in this environment. I was scared because all of a sudden my flip, uh, life got flipped over at the age of 70. Luckily, I came to BIT campus starting in the Diploma of Civil Engineering as a program where I had to take most, carrying the most supportive, most understanding teachers as I had mentioned earlier. After coming to BIT, I learned to communicate with the people better. Every single I met in BIT brought their own importance to my life and every single one taught me uh, interesting something new. I got to BIT as a student by trying out different subjects, sports, cultural activities. Honestly, I have had a best life times of my life here. I figure out who I really am and what I really want to do in a life. I think I have spent just the right amount of time at the BIT campus to become a mature and to become really to face a real world. There is a lot of things to share, but I know time is really precious. So last but not the least, I would like to congratulate all the graduates of the batch 2018. Yes, thank you for having me here. Namaste. Yes, thank you, Mr. Vikrant. We have with us Mr. Mohammed Faiz CK. Alumni of 2015 batch of Mechanical Engineering, who further pursued his Master's in Mechanical Engineering from Queensland University of Technology, Brisbane, Australia. Currently, he is the R&D Engineer at Cook Medical Australia Private Limited Company. Over to you, Mr. Mohammed Faiz. I'm Mr. Sayyid Mohammed Berry, other dignitaries, and my fellow BITians. <laughs> I'm Mohammed Faiz. I graduated in 2015 from the Double Ones batch, and I'm immensely proud and happy to represent my batch today. Um, I was I was in your seat seven years ago, and I was all excited as you are today. Uh, looking back, um, the four years that I had in BIT, it was the best four years of my life. This is where I've made lifelong friends, um, had heartbreaks, had fun and whatnot. Now you're all ready to face the real life, the real world outside. Today, uh, my message is for all the backbenchers and middle benches out there, just like me. Uh, I was terrified um, of my below average score when I was graduating. Um, I, was, I was really terrified. But trust me, uh, it's the real life, the real world is more about just grades. It's more about personality, caliber, and self-belief. I, I pursued my master's degree in engineering and engineering management from Queensland University of Technology, Brisbane, Australia. Today, I work as a research and development engineer in Cook Medical Australia, which is one of the world's largest privately owned medical device company. I contribute 
to life's saving products in Cook Medical. So all I want to say to you guys is believe in yourself and work hard for your goal. I wish you good luck in all your future endeavors. Thank you, Jayant. Thank you. We have with us Ms. Rizma Banu, a passionate young entrepreneur who hails from a small rural village from DK, Dakshina Kannada. She has won several awards for pioneering in women entrepreneurship and she has also got selected for the one of the founders for Google Startup Sales Academy program. She is a proud CEO of a company called Atom360 which is on a mission to make health accessible and affordable to everyone. Atom360 has won the most promising women-led startup award from Amazon. Let us welcome her and listen from her. Hello everyone. In the interest of time, I'm going to keep my um, speech really short. Um, first of all, I would like to thank you, thank everyone uh, here uh, for giving me this opportunity. Education is one of the greatest blessings and you have it. Congratulations to all my graduated friends here. I wish that success keeps following you in everything you do. You are educated now, right? Your certifications is in your degree. You may think of it as the ticket to a good life. Please also think of it. Think of an alternative. Think of it as your ticket to change the world. I would like to appreciate the management led by dear chairman and faculty for producing change makers to the society. And thank you Aziz sir for teaching us entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship subject which pretty much impacted my life a lot. You motivated me at times when I needed it the most and I'm confident that every lecturer here creates a positive impact on students life. I took an oath five years ago on this similar occasion of my graduation day and I'm trying every day to be abide by it. I suggest you also to uh, remember the oath every day. Congratulations to all of you once again. Uh, have a great day. Dream new dreams and be bold. If you have any questions about my startup for collaborations or anything, we can talk, including the dignitaries who are good in their profession and in the industry. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Rastrapati Award for Scouts and Guides in 2007 and many others to his achievements. He has cleared gate in the year 2016 and he is also a state and university level volleyball player. A warm welcome to you. So, it's been good morning from few time, few minutes back, now it's a good afternoon. Uh, respected dignitaries and off the dais and on the dais, uh, maybe I am the first batch student, the oldest student. 2013 batch for this particular program and still a student now pursuing a PhD. So I'm still a student from 10 years, not 10 years, maybe 3 years as experience. Uh, there is no plan, nothing, just uh, speak from heart like how Barry sir always says. So there are so many coincidences today, I don't know whether it is planned or it is just a coincidence. Uh, my director is there here, Mohan sir. Sir, I received a first prize uh, for our team three, three weeks back from you for Swachata Pakwada. So maybe you remember me in that. Uh, and uh, the same, uh, the, that, uh, that was my first presentation in NITK competition level. And then the first presentation, I mean first prize when we got uh, in the BIT level also, not in the BIT level, it was a national level competition. Uh, when uh, we had a team of four members in a, a BTEC last year, final year project, and our project was based on remote sensing and GAs designing a tunnel for Shirati Ghat, four lane. For that also we had got first place and that is because of Barry sir. So because he gave an opportunity for that. Uh, there are many incidents where I can uh, recall, uh, but uh, one incident where I recall Barry sir uh, at the most level is the first incident and uh, the first program which happened in Barry's is uh, Srusti. If you remember sir, that was the first program which happened, it was a model competition which was a zonal level and the next, by seeing the success of that, we planned for a state level competition which is Pratiman. 
and uh, we were a team of some eight members. We approached uh, Barry Sir and uh, seeking the sponsorship for the program. Without the second delay, he said, "You go ahead and you perform the. I mean, you plan for the program, and and that program was a grand success. So that is because of you, sir. That is how you support the students all around. Um, and congratulations to all the graduates here who have uh, come from various parts of India. And uh, two things I would like to say for you. Now it is time to compare, I guess. You don't compare anyone because your friends may be getting 4 lakh package or 10 lakh package. Never, never ever compare your friends. You compare with yourself. Like I usually compare with myself how I was 10 years back and how I am now. So it's better you compare with yourself. Please don't compare with your, your fellow mates where uh, they may be getting some higher level of package. But you have your own life. And the next one which I wanted to say is that be truthful to your God, no one else. Because you cannot praise or you cannot like impress others. You have to impress God. That is almighty which we say every time. That please be truthful to him. Then you will be truthful to your entire life. So that is what I wanted to say. And um, there is no actually uh, no speech coming up. Because I am uh, blessed to be here. Uh, sir, um, sir, you may be remembering uh, my, uh, my dance performance. Which was Bharatanatya. And the first year it was. And uh, sir... Um, uh, they, we, we say that here future is ready and sir gave me a future because four, year, four years I was a civil engineering student here, I graduated. Then sir was in interview where he conducted a campus recruitment for me and we were, I mean I was among the four uh, uh, fortunate students to get selected to his own uh, Barry's group construction in Bangalore. But destiny was something else, maybe from site engineer I converted into some academic, uh, academic field, so maybe that I converted into academic field, but he was the one who interviewed me and maybe, sir, um, I was fortunate to get that post also as a site engineer in your own company where I have, till now I have the same experience which your company gave to me, I mean our company it is actually. So, uh, thanks, thanks everyone uh, and congratulate once again for all the graduates who have graduated today. Thank you, sir. 2016 in mechanical engineering, he started his career with RSA Turbotech Private Limited and he has moved to a uh, no to on to be a project designer engineer at Bale Private Limited. Currently, he is working as a business analyst analyst at Genpak Private Limited. Over to you. Good morning, all. First of all, thank you, Ashwin, ma'am, for inviting us. You know, I feel so blessed to be here after six long years. So, BIT has provided me with you know, great learning experience. So I graduated in the year 2016. So from 2016, I have been working till now. I have worked in both public sector and both private sector. And in these many years, I have learned certain experience, you know. So that I want to share with you. So one thing that I've noticed in the, in the industry is that always you need to develop new skills. You know, when you are applying for a job, the best way to get a job is to have the relevant skills. So the first thing you have to do is develop the right skills. So in my initial career path, when I joined RSA TurboTech, so I, I was feeling I was not developing the skills which was required. So I quit that job, did my apprenticeship in Bharat Earthmores Limited, wherein I was able to learn so many skills like SolidWorks, AutoCAD. My mechanical friends would understand this, you know, SAP and CATIA. And these skills helped me to get a better job in Bharat Electronics Limited, which was a game changer for me. So uh, the one advice I would give you is, you know, always try to develop the skills which is relevant to your goal or the job aspiration. And furthermore, I congratulate all the new graduates, you know, all the best for your future. Thank you. Mohammed Beiri to deliver the presidential address. I begin in the name of Allah, the most merciful and beneficent. Respected Dr. Mohan Kumar, respected Venkat Ramanan, my dear friend, uh, architect Manoj, principal of BIT, Dr. Manzur Basha, principal of BEADS, architect uh, Ashok Mendonsa, principal of Dr. Aziz Mustafa, the principal of uh, Berry's uh, Institute of Emerging Science, 
Professor Prachviraj, the director of BIT Polytechnic, all the HODs, the parents, friends, and my dear students. Graduation day has always been a, a sense of celebration and separation. We are celebrate today because you have completed your four years and uh, we feel separated because we are you are going to miss you all. You are such a wonderful student. You are such an, a wonderful student. God has blessed us abundantly in every way. Our students, our faculty, this beautiful location, and all those who help us in reaching where we are today. Nothing but share His grace. Friends, you are being told what you need to do in your life once you step out from this campus. I am not qualified to say what they have said because as you all know, I am a school dropout. However, I have my 50 long years of practical experience. I want all the students to look at me. I want all the students to look at me and concentrate on what I am saying. Because perhaps this is my last talk with you. Perhaps. Okay. So what I am going to appeal to you is very few things. Be truthful. Wherever you are, however you are, always stick on to the truthfulness. Come what may. Never say lie. Always be truthful. That is the first thing. Number two, be trustworthy. Any work is being given to you. Any assignment is being offered to you. Or whatever the work you are doing, think that I am a custodian of that trust. I will never, you know, damage that reputation of that trust. And I request you to be sympathetic. You know, you need to be passionate, passionate. You need to have a self-urge to grow. And that growth should not be for our, our uh, you know, well-being and our prosperity. Friends, everybody said, don't work for money. It is, I am not saying today. I am saying this when I was not having money to put petrol to my two-wheeler. The, 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 the learning time, the trying time of my initial life, 1981 to 1986, I was going in scooter. I was not having money to put petrol. But I never worked for money. Because it is my belief, and you sh should make your belief, that what has been destined to us, we will get it, come what may. In Hindi they say, Jo mukaddar hai, wo to jakmar ke mujhe milega. What has been destined, we will get it. So when the money has already been destined, we should not work for the money's sake. In a Hindu mythology, there is Lakshmi, there is Saraswati. We think Lakshmi is in the friend, Saraswati is back. No, it is not so. Saraswati essentially is in the friend. We need to learn. And for Saraswati, suppose, you know, I have a hundred Saraswati, I give ten, what is balance you think? Ninety. It is not so. That is in Lakshmi. In Lakshmi, if you have hundred, you give ten, balance is ninety. That is sure. But in Lakshmi, it works other way around. The learning, learn from cradle to the grave. That urge you should always have. You know, that learning is not for, you know, I need to get a job, I, I need to you know, build a house, I need to, you know, marry a beautiful girl. Very, very much. You need to get, marry a beautiful girl, and girl has to marry a beautiful, smart boy. However, our intent, you know, everything goes with the intent. Now I'll come to just three words that makes all the difference. In life, what is most important is just three words. This is the Urdu word. Very easy to remember. 
ओके एवरीथिंग स्टार्ट विद नियत व्हाट इज नियत नियत इज इंटेंशन नियत इज इंटेंशन the result of our action is based on our intention that is where the purity of heart come into play our heart should be always pure and clean it doesn't mean that you cannot have a vengeance it is a human nature we will have a vengeance we will have uh, you know all that aspect which is but natural but that vengeance should be up to the point of going to the bed when i am going to bed and i am at the time of sleeping i must think backwards whatever i you know done and uh, clear my heart and then go to bed the purity of heart what is been you know embedded there in our main building it is not just a, a slogan purity of heart when you have then god will give clarity of mind and clarity of mind is so important today in the in the in the real life when you enter it is all called application of mind whatever you do there has to be an application of mind and application of mind doesn't cost any money application of mind is our application how we how we you know take things and that is where the clarity plays a very very important role so i say the first thing is what i said out of three first is niya you know it is said so beautifully in namal amal bin niya that is so important in our life i am appealing to every every student every student whenever you do something you know very simple i will tell you suppose you know you want um, you want a job you want a job pray to god that god we are five members uh, you know close friends in our class you know and we are all struggling for the job you know help me to get job to my four friends and then you also give it to me you know what creator does he does chamatkar that time he gives you the first job then he helps other four of whom you ask for you know that is niyat niyat should be absolutely pure okay second after the niyat so now you will say okay my niyat is absolutely pure and clean and that's it no it doesn't work like that after the niyat comes mehnat after the niyat what comes mehnat what is the meaning of mehnat not merely hard work it is leaving no stone unturned till we get the result come what may you know whatever whatever the adversity we may face you know we our aim should be very clear no what i what have i envisaged i must get it and god likes the person with that nature you know god then never likes a complacent people you know it is not possible sir it is difficult sir you imagine if god started thinking in that way what will happen to the world in god's scheme of things there is nothing like impossible you know it simply says i am possible so once your niyat is clear and when we have mehnat you are ready to work that you know in that determination in that commitment in that passionate then comes the baraka barakat say it again niyat mehnat and barakat now you may say what is this baraka what is this barakat barakat is not money barakat is that how many house we have how many cars we have in which car i am traveling where i am going that is not baraka the barakat means at home there is peace there is contentment there is there is a, a cohesiveness everyone is talking about others not for self everyone is talking about others well being the god has created us as a vicegerent you know as god is a merciful he is a benevolent he is a nourisher he is a cherisher we should also be the same and my friends when you go out you think that now there is no principal's problem now though chairman sayed bari's problem there is no hod there is no teacher but again we are wrong there once you move out the gods you know that uh, uh, the the uh, gods uh, you know eyesight you know the god's vision is always there because god is omnipresent 
he will be always watching you. He is always seeing you. He is not only seeing you what you do. He is also seeing why you are doing that. In the sense, he is not only hearing what I am saying. He is also knows in what context I am saying this. Is it a tongue talk or is it a heart talk? Keep your heart absolutely pure and clean. The world is looking at you. You are the creator of this world. You are the creator of this country. You know, 21st century is meant for India. 21st century is meant for India. You know, I'm, since I'm, in, I know I'm dealing with the industrialists, you know, technocrats, I, I MNCs, now maximum uh, industries, listen to me for your own benefit, now maximum industry are coming out from China and they want to establish their R&D, their manufacturing sector in India. So that is, a, that is an opportunity for you. That's a great opportunity for you. India has become not for Indian alone, it is for the world. We are going to become the manufacturing hub, of the, hub for the world. You know, get that opportunity. Get that opportunity. Then I will tell you some easy thing. Every day morning, every day morning, rather first when you complete this, you are going to meet your parents. Hug them. Kiss them. You know, hug your parents. Kiss them. You know, and love them. Express your feelings. And the same thing you must do when you start working. Every day morning, you must be, you know, when you leave your home, kiss your parents, kiss your mother, you know, and then you move out. If you are not in your hometown, wherever you are, call them. Call them every day morning, saying that, Mama, I am leaving now. Please bless me for that. Pray, pray for us that. You know, if unless and until you be the best in the world, but if you are not best with your parents, that's not going to help you at all, my friend. You got my point? You become like uh, the, the uh, Prime Minister of India. Who is the Prime Minister of India, sir, now? The famous, uh, not India, sorry, uh, UK, UK. Rishi Sunak. Can you imagine an Indian person? You know, what a, what a, a, what a fantastic moment for us. An Indian guy, 42 years. Just 42 years, you know, and Indian, not really virgin, in the sense is, yes, his virgin is from India. He has become the Prime Minister of UK. What an amazing moment this. I think that deserves a big round of applause. And why I'm applauding you now, who knows, maybe one of you could be the next Prime Minister or a President of US, US United States of America. Who knows? You know, you, you cannot say that. When I, when I, you know, became a uh, school dropout, I thought my life is over, finish. I'll be in my Cody, you know, get some fish from the uh, seashore, and that is my life. Maybe I will cycling like uh, all berries they do, and uh, that is over. But God has been extremely kind to us, extremely kind. He's not only helped us in business, he's also given us the institution. And today when I hear, tears rolls out. When I hear, because institution is not something new to us. Institution is there from 1906, 116 long years. By my great grandfather. Imagine at that time, there was no three meals in a day for us. But my great grandfather started a school in a thatched hut. People say he must have been a great visionary. I would say no, it is not a visionary. You know, it is a God's blessing. It is a divine blessing on our family. So, it is not merely you know, counting the money. And the kind of satisfaction I get by when I interact with you people, when I hear people are in Australia, people are in Canada, and people are in different country, and they think about BIT, they talk about the BIT, but I, I said, you know, my, my, my life is done. My, you know, I can, I, this is what for me, for my salvation. Our education institution has never been on a commercial front. God has been kind in our business. But the emotional aspect, you know, when, we, when, we, when, we, when I interview, generally I, I ask people, there's a standard question I will have. I will say, what is your strength? You know, they say that, sir, I'm honest. I said, my friend, honest cannot be a strength. Honest one has to be. 
you know, honest for a human being cannot be a strength. If somebody is dishonest, he will never find a job. So honest cannot be a, you know, strength. Then he said, what is your weakness? He said, I am very emotional. I said, my friend, you worked other way around. Actually, emotion is a strength. We should be emotional. You know, when you have an emotion, then the compassion will come. Then the, that sensitivity will come. Sensitivity, sensitivity, not only for the people, even for the creation, all creation, all these, you know, flora and fauna. Everywhere the sensitiveness should come. The way you walk, the way you talk, the way you dress, the way you conduct yourself. People should identify that he is a BITN. He is a beast guy. That discipline, you know, that simplicity, that humility, that is what we are seeking from our children, our students. I pray to God Almighty to make our effort easy, make our journey successful, meaningful and virtuous for this world and hereafter. Before ending my talk, after eight years of our journey here, God has given us an opportunity to start to enter the health science. As uh, Ifti was mentioning earlier in his talk, you know, when UT Kadar was become the health minister, first day, same day, he said, Uncle, why don't you start, uh, you know, these uh, health signs, paramedical. But I said, somehow, you know, I felt we are not fully ready. You know, and for everything, time has to come. You know, and other day, just three months back, he was literally behind us. And then thankfully, last week, we got the permission to start uh, uh, pharmacy from next academic year. So we are going to start pharmacy here, followed with the uh, nursing and physiotherapy and many other courses, all in the, under the Berry's Institute of Health Science. This is here. Same way, you know, we are also starting the same health science in the form of Berry's College of Health Science in our native village, Kodi Kundapo. Again, with the nursing, you know, pharmacy and uh, all other courses. Okay. This year we also started BCA, BCA under uh, Mangalore University in the name of Berry's Institute of Emerging Science. You know, we, we, have, got, we have brought in artificial intelligence and data science as a, for a fifth, uh, you know, stream in engineering. Okay. Uh, ultimately, our aim is to go in for a university. You know, and that university, I am thinking, this is my crazy idea, you know, my idea of Barry's Global University for Social Happiness, Societal Happiness. That is what we need to work now. Societal happiness. There won't be any caste, creed, language, region, nothing should be there. That is a life, that is a, that is a, that is a India, that is a world we need to create. And you are, we need your support. We need your support. And once again, I'm, uh, you know, I'm before leaving, I, I pray to God Almighty to bless you abundantly wherever you are. Whatever the job you do, be truthful to yourself. God bless. Good luck. Thank you. Great, great thing, but doing the best shows a greater potential of who you are. It is the most awaited time to honor the best outgoing students of different departments who with their hard work and dedication have made us proud. I now call upon Dr. Vinuta PR, HOD, Department of Physics to read out the best outgoing students name of different departments. I request our beloved chairman, Mr. Sayyid Muhammad Bairi, Barry's Academy of Learning to felicitate them. A very good afternoon to everyone. Respected dignitaries on the dais, of the dais, parents, and my dear students. Now the most awaited moment, the time to know the best outgoing students of BIT, BEADS, and BIT Polytechnic. Now to begin with, from BE Architecture, we have uh, the best outgoing student who, who was selected as winner of George Floyd Memorial International Competition, organized by Archihacts at New York. He was selected for the Global Summer Internship Program at the prestigious office of Veer Muller, New Delhi. He is none other than, he is none other than Amal Faisal. Amal Faisal from B Architecture is the best outgoing student of the year, for the year 2022. 
Amal Faisal from B Architecture. Please give him a big round of applause. Amal Faisal from B Architecture. Now, from BIT Civil Engineering, we have a student who is sincere, intelligent, punctual, humble in nature. He is the overall topper, excellent record in academics, involved actively in a association of civil engineering, a good leader, actively participated in extra and co-curricular activities, qualified in GATE exam in third year, brought laurels to the department. Please put your hands together to, can, you, can I have the guesses? Yes, it's Ahmad, Mr. Ahmad Shakik. In his absence here, I request his parents to receive the honor. Mr. Ahmad Shakik from Civil Engineering is the best outgoing student for the year 2022. And also, it is a proud moment for all of us at BIT that Mr. Ahmad Shakik, who has achieved the additional degree, be honours by completing seven certificate courses through NPTEL and MOOC and has earned 18 credits to qualify the degree BE honours in addition to the regular BE program in civil engineering. I take uh, BIT takes this opportunity to recognise and appreciate his achievements on this occasion and congratulates him. Sir, BE honours. Yes. So please put your hands together to Ahmad Shakik. Now, from computer science and engineering, uh, we have a student who is very disciplined, organized various events in De Dextrix 2022, actively participated in extra and co-curricular activities, was placed in KPIT suit tech company Mangalore. He is none other than, he is none other than, any guesses? Any guesses? Yes, it's Mohammad Marzuk. Please put your hands together to Mohammad Marzuk from Computer Science and Engineering is the best outgoing student for the year 2022. Mohamed Marzuk from Computer Science and Engineering is the best outgoing student. Give him a big round of applause. From Electronics and Communication Engineering, we have the best outgoing student who has actually part, taking part in extracurricular activities, organized various departmental activities, obtained prizes in National Energy Conservation Day, placed in Samudra Institute of Marine Studies through Campus Drive. Give her a big round of applause too. Big round of applause too. It is Anumul Joseph from Electronics and Communication Engineering. Ms. Anumol Joseph from Electronics and, Com Electronics and Communication Engineering is the best outgoing student for the year 2022. Please put your hands together to Anumol Joseph from Mechanical Engineering. The best outgoing student is awarded to one who is sincere, hardworking, very humble student topper and scored 96% in his final semester, published his final project work in reputed international journal, was student treasurer of MESA 2021, has participated in several e-quiz competitions. Can I have the guesses? Yes, it's Mr. Moedin Ashit is the best outgoing student from mechanical engineering. Voidin Ashur is the best outgoing student from Mechanical Engineering for the year 2022. Please give him a big round of applause. Now, from BIT Polytechnic, we have civil, from Civil Branch, who is one of the finest, brilliant and energetic student, confident and passionate. 
He was awarded certification of appreciation for his commendable hours of volunteer service at college, was part of various innovative projects and led the project batch. He has been placed in campus drive by expertise contracting company Saudi Arabia for his career. Please give him a big round of applause to Yes, it is none other than Aijaz Ali, Mr. Aijaz Ali from BIT Polytechnic Civil Branch is the best outgoing student for the year 2022. Mr. Aijaz Ali from Civil Branch, BIT Polytechnic. Please put your hands together to Mr. Aijaz Ali. We have from mechanical branch, he is one of the finest, brilliant and energetic student, maintained the record of being topper for the entire sixth semester. He was awarded certification of appreciation for his commendable hours of work, actively participated in various academic and non-academic activities, also been placed in campus drive by expertise contracting company Saudi Arabia. Please put your hands together to Mr. Mohammad Fahad. Mr. Mohammad Fahad is the best outgoing student from Mechanical Branch, BIT Polytechnic. In his absentia, I request his brother to collect the honor. In his absentia, I request his parents or brother to collect the honor. Here there is an announcement. Mr. Abu Bakr Mushtaba for civil engineering. I request his brother to come and collect the memento and certificate in his absentia. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sirs, for honoring our students. I congratulate all the outgoing students. I wish you all many more success in your future endeavors. Thank you. Sorry. I now call upon Professor Mubina Parvin Taj, Associate Professor, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, to read out the academic topper list for the year 2021-22. Good afternoon, dear parents, students, respected dignitaries and teachers. Excellence is not an accomplishment. It is a spirit, a never-ending process. With this inspiring thought by Lawrence M. Miller, I, I am very proud to announce the Academic Excellence Awards of the BIT, Beads and Diploma Institutions of Barry's Academy of Learning for the year 2021-22. A dream, not in sleep, but awake, made our students to stand high and excel in their academic performance. To begin with beats, Barry's Enviro Architectural Design School, may I request Mr. Amal Faisal on to the stage to receive the Academic Excellence Award for securing 75.86% in the final year exams conducted by VTU Belgam in B Arc course. He is also a best outgoing student of this year. I request now I request Mr. Ahmad Shakik of Civil Department. On his absence, I invite his parents to receive the award. Ahmad Shakik has secured 85.9% in the final year civil examinations. Next, I call upon Mr. Mahamad Hashir of Computer Science Department to receive the Toppers Award. Mohammad Hashir secured 78.52% in the final year VTU examinations. Mohammad Hashir, please come on to the stage.
Now I request Ms. Sushmita K of ENC Department on the dais to receive the Academic Excellence Award for the year 2021-22. Sushmita scored 86.08% in the final year examination of VTU Belgaum. All the students, please give them a big round of applause for their achievement. Next is Mr. Moedin Arshad K from Mechanical Engineering Department. Please come on to the stage. Mr. Moedin Arshad K from Mechanical Engineering Department. Moedin Arshad K secured 85.33% in the final year examination. He is also a best outgoing student of this year. We also have our sister institution, BIT Polytechnic, with civil and mechanical branches. I call upon Ms. Mariam Suhada of civil and civil branch to come on to the stage. She secured 60% in the final year diploma examinations of BTE Bangalore. I request Mr. Fahad of Mechanical Engineering. On behalf of him, I request his parents to come on to the stage to receive the award. He secured 80% in the final year diploma examinations and he is also a best outgoing student of this academic year. To take you further, now it is the time. Now it is the time to honor our faculty for their continuous effort and dedication in updating their knowledge by continuous learning. Here we have two PhD awardees of our institution for this year who are the real motivator to our students and faculties. I welcome Dr. Imran Mukashi who has been awarded doctorate on 11th February 2022 by International Islamic University Malaysia for defending the thesis titled Conjugate Heat Transfer Analysis of Battery Pack Using Finite Volume Method. Sir is serving in our institution in the mechanical department since 2016. Congratulations, sir. Now I welcome Dr. Sheikh Amir Basha on to the dais. Sir awarded PhD for the thesis titled Some Results Towards the Combinational Graph Theory and Their Application Under the Guidance of Dr. B. Chelvaraju, Professor, Department of Mathematics, Bangalore University. Thank you, sir, for receiving the award. Last but not least, there are some special achievements of our students which brought a name and fame to the Barry's Academy of Learning Center for this academic year. Can you guess who are those stars? Now I request Mr. Adler Nunes of 5th SEM Electronics and Communication Branch to kindly come up to the stage. Adler Nunes, he is the first prize winner of national level digital poster design competition on technology to improve rural life. He was, it was organized by site IEEE Delhi section in the month of October 2022. I also call upon Mr. Pratik Pednekar of 7SM B Arc, who has received the Certificate of Appreciation for serving as Unit Secretary of Beads in the 65th year convention of National Association of Students of Architecture held in Bangalore for the year 2021-22. With this, we conclude to the academic excellence and special awardees of the year 2021-22. Hard work beats talent when talent does not work hard. Congratulations to all. Keep progressing. Let all your dreams come true. Thank you, sir, for conferring awards. Thank you, one and all. Thank you, ma'am. I request our beloved chairman, along with the other dignitaries, to felicitate the alumni present here. 
we have Ms. Rizma Banu, Mr. Sanjit S. Anchan, and Mr. Ajay. Request you to take the honor. Mr. Shahid. In on the moon. I request architect Ashok Mendonsa, Principal Beads, to deliver O2 stands. Dignitaries on the dais, off the dais, and dear friends. As all good things have come to an end, even our uh, grand graduation celebration also has to draw to a close. And uh, we have been through the morning sitting in these warm, humid conditions. So therefore, I will try to reduce your trauma and try to make it as brief as practical. The sum and substance of this entire function is, I think, uh, zeroes down on that, you know, the solemn oath taking. Unlike the last time, where the chief guest had to reprimand the students, uh, this time I was observing uh, all of you responsible graduates did this job religiously and I really congratulate you for that. So essentially this boils down to two things. One is the sense of gratitude and along with that comes your responsibility. So these are the two takeaways. Of course, our guests, our chief guests, our guests of honours have uh, in, in their own manner explained these issues differently. But if you go back and read that, you know, the solemn oath that you have taken, and as one of the alumni, Rizma mentioned, that she sees it often, I think the purpose is served. So as uh, people who have got the privilege of education, I think it is incumbent upon us to have that sense of gratitude and a sense of responsibility. So, sometimes it is good to paraphrase in someone else's, some, you know, famous personalities, uh, words. And so, as we are getting departed from this venue, let us just ruminate on the words of John F. Kennedy, who said, we must find time to stop and thank the people who make a difference in our lives. And who are these people? I mean, these are the people at this point of time. It could be the people, the teachers, who made you qualify to come and, you know, uh, enroll in this school. It could be your primary school teachers. It could be, you know, you know, your high school teachers. Who made you possible for you to actually come and, you know, qualify for this program? The parents, the parents who work hard. I have spoken to a lot of parents when it is, you know, follow up on fees. And it, I know it is difficult and, you know, the kind of effort that they put in is seldom lost on the students. What do we do with that uh, effort? Do we ever recognize that? I mean, that is something that you need to look at. Every day we reach the campus, there are some drivers who bring you here daily. They reach you safely and at the end of the day they take you back. You all owe it to them. There is, there is a certain amount of responsibility to these people as well. The farmers and the traders who actually keep you free from hunger. And the teachers that we have coached you through this program at this institution. All the teaching and non-teaching staff. I mean, it's always we give credit only to the teaching people. But I was listening to uh, one of the students talking about um, Karimaka, who was serving fantastic food here in the mess. I mean, these add quality to your life. Right? You have to acknowledge these don't come with any degree. But the passion with which they do makes your life that much more better. Same thing, I, I always admire there is one Bhavaka amongst a mist. The amount of work that he does without being told in keeping, keeping your premises up and proper is something that is admirable. 
it never comes with this, you know telling a person reprimanding a person so in that sense this sense of responsibility is the sense of you know the intention the niyat etc our chairman spoke of i think it has to it is something innate and it is all embedded in your oath so so you know so the list is endless as there are as many people and as issues that can be thankful and imagination only imagination could limit this so buddha says let us rise up and be thankful for if we didn't learn a lot today at least we learned a little and if we didn't learn a little at least we didn't get sick and if we got sick at least we didn't die so let us all be thankful so it is not like getting a huge reward itself is a you know something an achievement it is the simple joys of life you know getting making that small incremental step by step progress that is what you need to be grateful of so there is no limit to gratitude everything that happens in your life that makes it worthwhile i think you need to celebrate that we take many things for granted but anything worthwhile has some unseen hands and efforts behind it our management the venue setting you know arranging this setup takes effort and it is done well right it makes you feel good being in this setting the dignitaries who have assembled from distant locations it's not as if they didn't have any other work they've come here with what with the with the intention of spending some quality time with you and pass on their distilled kind of wisdom in this for a few minutes 10 minutes that they have been said to you so i think you need to be thankful for that also so they have been generous when they have been here so it's only the befitting that we express and show our gratitude to all the multitude of people who have made it possible for us to be here to be here where we are today another two small quotes i think i i will also mention is feeling gratitude and not expressing it it is like wrapping a present and not giving it now you feel okay there is something done for you it's like a present which is all gift wrapped now you need to hand it over and that gratitude needs to be expressed go about go and talk to some random uh, contributors to your life and just say thank you to them like the chairman said you you know um, you know as you leave out the house give a kiss to your parents they never expect that so it, it could be not just the parents it could be lot of people who have contributed to your life you must also remember my own philosophy is that you don't belong only to yourself you have an obligation to the society which protected you when you were brought into the world which taught you which supported you and nurtured you you have an obligation to repay it says jacob k yavits who was the attorney general for new york so when i let this sink in let me take this opportunity to thank the chairman and the managing trustee mr sayed mohammed bari for being the nucleus of the entire program and presiding over this function thank you sir he is being mentored by another family member abul at that dynamic young boy who is i think rising up to this occasion and it's fabulous to see him on his feet all the time he is not sitting you see he could be sitting on a sofa here but he is on on his feet all the time running around he is a uh, the trustee siddiq bari son abul thank you abul mr venkatraman venugopal head and director of engineering schneider electrical bangalore for the inaugural address thank you very much sir we remember your six points i am not going to list them out again because it's going to take time <laughs> uh, dr g c mohan kumar director nit ke suratkal graduation day address thank you sir it was nearly uh, a month and a half back we walked into his office and we made a request and he willingly agreed without any architect manoj ladder managing partner of architecture paradigm for the inspiration talk fabulous you got this kind of you know the infrastructure the kind of um, you know the site planning the, uh, is all attributed to him and his uh, teammates 
Dr. Kishore Kumar, of course, he is not there with us. That, yeah, he is already gone. Dr. S. I. Manjur Basha, Principal BIT for all the coordination and organizational efforts. <laughs> Guys, I think you should be sitting here. It's unfair. I mean, this is your last session. Please be seated. <laughs> Dr. Aziz Mustafa, Principal of BIES for the able support to in planning and execution of this event and also the most significant event of the ceremony, the admin, administering the oath. And he, he did a fab fabulous job of this. So he was actually asking me, how did I do this? I said the response came from the students themselves because unlike the last year, this time you are actually taking the oath, which is something very nice. Then uh, architect Ruksana Algur, my uh, colleague, for assuming the role of a convener and running this program brilliantly with the able support of Dr. Vinutha and Dr. Mubina. All the HODs, namely Dr. Vasant Kumar, Professor Sinan, Dr. Abdullah Gupi, Dr. Anjum Khan, Dr. Nalini Rebello, architect Ruksan Algur for the work through the year to prepare the students for this event. It is not just one day's event, it is the entire works, entire year's event being, you know, coming to fruition now. Mr. Safwan Khan for the fabulous ceremonial band and the transportation arrangements and all the that infrastructure work that happens behind the back. <laughs> Dr. Abdullah Gubi for the media coordination and he's always on the job. <laughs> Professor Mubina Tuitaj for the invocation. All the program managers including the MC, Afia, fabulous job Afia. Um, Mr. Joyson, Professor Afsar Beg manning the station there through the day. Uh, Mr. Joyson, Ms. Sharifa, Ms. Rihanna, Ms. Najma, and uh, Dr. Vinutha. Thank you all. Fantastic job. <laughs> Mr. Rafik Berry and Mr. Padmanabhan Kotian and his team uh, for the venue preparation and overall ambience of the premises. Great job, guys. Keep up doing this good work. The photography and videography team led by Mr. Harish and team. Thank you, sir. The members of the print and digital media for your continuing support and positive projection of the institutions. A big thank you to you guys. Many Salaam. thanks to and Mr. Adib uh, for the, you know, the smart memo copy that we are carrying. And finally, it's all students and your parents without whom this program simply has no relevance. Okay. This is that one quarter as, uh, uh, you know, Dr. Mohan said, and other three, the parents. Okay, without you, this uh, program has no meaning. Last but not the least, the team leader of the very important event that awaits us all, a hearty lunch coordinated by Professor Sinan uh, and his team. So as I close my word of thanks, I leave you with the yet another message. You have not lived today if you have not done something for someone who, who can never repay you, says John Bunyan. With this, I close my vote of thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.